You're just, I know they're not even looking for me. They're just throwing them over there because that's where they get kills at. Ain't no, ain't nobody talking to me about fighting Boogie. And if, it, if the offer's less than 100K, I'm not signing it. If the offer's less than 100K, I'm not signing it. It's gonna take at least $100,000 for me to fight somebody. All joking aside, Rich from your Re Review Tech USA, kid buying a camera, a airsoft fatty. I mean, there's a lot of guys who I feel like would be a better match and it'd be a lot more entertaining. I make him look like Boogie before he got his teeth fixed. Ah. Oh my God. <laughs> Dude, if you had to wake up every day and look in the mirror and look like him, you'd be mad too. Uh, honestly, Wings, I'm, uh, I'm putting my money on you. But I don't know. Just so you know. That's what I'm saying. Hey, they're going A. I put my money on me on too. This video, Gordon out to you, Jordy. You know, I tried to box Ethan Ralph, but he's too fat. And I tried to box Sam Hyde, but he would have just killed me. But you, Jordy, Jordy, I think I could knock you out in round one, son. Come on, Jordy. Come on. Come on. Let's talk. Come on, Jordy. Come on. Come on. Come on, Jordy. Come on. Come on, Jordy. What, what's the matter, huh? Are you chicken? Kane, you should react to Billy Boogie throwing you out. Again, like I wasn't that way. I wasn't the one leaking it. I can tell you this. The fight ain't taking place in America. You go where the money goes, man. I'm gonna put it out there. I'm gonna put I'm gonna give me a business to dress up because I gotta buy some boxing trunks. And I'm uh, looking for sponsors. We want some cheap real estate. We're waiting for the weigh-in. I wonder if they're gonna do a weigh-in. We, I don't think we're gonna have coaches or teams or cut men or anything like that, dude. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna divulge any strategy I've got going on. I'm not gonna divulge any money I'm getting paid. Oh, I'm gonna pay my taxes. I ain't worried about that. I'm just trying to make my donation goal for today. One thing I've learned about being an adult is you don't count your money until it's in your pocket. Crossbow slows it, so you don't have to deal with the slow crossbow overload. Hopefully, I'm the favorite because I, Boogie's in his 50s. I'm not. I'm in my 30s. Honestly, I don't think either me or Boogie are good enough pugilists to have a hugging match. That's the reason I haven't signed the contract yet. I put it up there that I want Kelly to go with me and they're seeing if they can swing that. It is gonna be pay-per-view. Here, here's the thing with the fight, right? And this isn't me dodging the fight or anything, but as it sits right now, it's been in talks for a bit. And so far at this point, all I've gotten is promises and I don't wanna talk about the fight until I got a contract. So like, it's not that I'm not down to promote it or whatever. I'm just waiting until, wait until there's a contract in place. The person that's stolen is good for it. I 100% believe they're good for it. But like I said, like I'd much rather have a contract and play before, you know, I go doing things about it. I got a lot of traveling to do in the next couple months. Nobody knows about the travel. I'm just saying I do have a bunch of traveling I gotta do. I've been, I've been keeping my stuff a secret for a reason. To be honest, Boogie jumped the gun a little bit on the promotion. It is what it is. I'm not gonna discuss the money. I'm not gonna discuss money or strategy. Wings has had every opportunity there ever was okay he could have been as big as me he could have been bigger than me but he puts his fucking foot in his mouth the one thing wings redemption needs to do is shut his fucking mouth and i'm gonna shut his fucking mouth for him if he just shut the fuck up okay everybody in this room was successful except jordy jordan it's all about one thing it's your fucking mouth and i'm going to shut that fucking thing for you I've been waiting on this damn contract, but like, I don't think the contract's ever gonna happen. Gotta start <sighs> freaking out Boogie some, show him what he actually stepped into. Um, we're supposed to be getting paid a retainer, but that still hasn't came in yet either, so it is what it is. Both my cats are shelter cats, so they're both both neutered. If you get a shelter cat, they automatically neuter them as soon as they get them. Both know their name. Like, this one right here definitely knows his name. But my plan is to be sore for the next four and a half weeks, and then take like the last three or four days off to let my body heal. And then I'll be wherever I'm at. That's where I'm at. Where am I sore from? Mostly my lower body. And, and a lot of it comes from me trying to do footwork and having to like adjust and catch my weight. My lower body and lower back. Like every now and then I get a strained muscle in my arms, like from punching. You know, it is what it is. My lower body's much, 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 much sore than my upper body. So some footwork on stream right now. No, I'm good. When was the last time I threw a meaningful punch? Uh, are you asking me when's the last time I hit somebody? High school. I hope Boogie doesn't back out the fight. I need this Skrilla. I, no, Keemstar's paying for the plane tickets. I think the plane tickets or hotels are on Keem. You're 15 years old in high school, and I weigh 320 pounds. What advice do you have for me? Do what I did, which is basically isolate yourself and just play video games. Just be antisocial. The one thing you shouldn't do is get into weightlifting. 
Like the worst thing you can do is get a summer job, do things that get you out the house, uh, make friends. You're going to be big most of your life. Am I qualified to give this advice? 100%. Here's the thing with life, and I've said it before. Life's about this long-winded race on who can collect the most money. Life in general. What happens with all the fight from the... Dude, there is no hype from the fight. My my viewers are lower now than when I wasn't doing the fight. (laughs) What are you talking about hype from the fight? Nobody here is here because of the fight. You might not believe this, but I was very strong. I could take a 20-pound sledgehammer, full-size 20-pound sledgehammer, grab it by the tip of the handle... And hold one out on each arm like that. Like none of the other guys could do it. Like it's something I used to do to show off at at work. I was always fat. Don't get me wrong. I was fat at Mech Last too. But like I was a bubba. Like I was I was one of those guys that I was fat but I moved well. I had agility. I was you know, like my weight never really held me back. You know, but you know, it's easy to do at twenty two, it's not so easy to do at thirty seven. What do I do normally at the end of a stream? Like today I'll go lay down and no, I don't know if I got a concussion or not. I just I just feel weird today. Like, I, I feel like I have a concussion. You know what I'm saying? Like, it doesn't hurt, but at the same time, I feel like, like there's pressure behind my eyes. Like I said, I have a concussion. I've never had one before. But, dog, Kelly hits hard. Like, it's, like she probably didn't hit as hard as, like, I don't know, like a professional fighter. Like, this, the corner of my jaw here and here. Because, like, the problem was is Kelly was so, is so much shorter than me. Anybody can damage you in the right way, man. Kelly was supposed to put the boxing gloves on and do it, but she put on her pads because I told her to just be outside and go get the gloves. And I t- all I told her for is I wanted her to hit me as hard as she could. Dude, Boogie with that stupid last punching bag he has, that's not a pun- Like, that thing, I, what is, let's see if I can find it. What is that thing called? It's not a heavy bag. Here's something similar to it by Everlast. Let's see what it weighs. Item weight 100 grams. 1,000 grams, I'm sorry. So the bag itself is 2.2 pounds. Is that right? One size boxing Everlast, color black and white, item weight 1,000 grams. I'll show you guys this. Like, I think this is what Boogie has right here. It's a freestanding punching bag. It says 1,000 grams. And like clicking over here, 1,000 grams is 2.2 pounds. Am I nervous for the fight? Yeah. Like, who wouldn't be fucking nervous for the fight? Let's be honest here. Like, I don't fight. I have it. The last time I got into a physical altercation was like 20 years ago like there's necessary there's documentation that has to be done from the united kingdom insurance company and they can't do it until monday and they have to delay the signing of the contracts until then so basically there's like an insurance company that goes on with the event you heard boogie's been running one mile easy i hope boogie's running a mile because his legs will be destroyed by the time he has to fight me in a month dude it would be cooler (laughs) if it was like a sumo wrestling match i'm way more confident fighting Boogie if I could take him to the ground. Like, boxing is super high cardio. I think Boogie's going through the same issues I'm going through. But Boogie's got, Boogie's like 12 or 13 years older than me without a support system. You saw his training videos. I've seen his training videos too. Again. So, this is the video. This is Boogie's latest training video. So, I see Jordy's been making fun of me again about the way that I'm working out. I can't hear it. And he's talking but about like, how he's I don't know if you guys will be able to hear it either. Me. Maybe. Because his knees work. I'm a cripple. But this is what I was talking about. Like, this is the, this thing up. that he okay. has in his living room. All right. My goal is not to be mobile for this fight. And I My like his shirt. My goal is to be strong for this fight. Okay? My goal is but to the problem, But the, what he's basically the saying is, is like, he, I'm more agile than him, but he's he's building one punch power. I'm make sure that when I hit Jordy. The problem with these kind of punches that he's delivering, the they're super easy to block, man. I'm working on one thing. And like, like he's. And one thing only. And like, he's got sure. nothing behind it. Like, I'm, I'm proud of him. He's actually using so his weight a little bit with it. But... I only got to do it once, George. Like, the fact is, his bag isn't hitting okay. back. You might be faster. You might and, be like, look faster. how slow each individual punch he's winding up for. You might even be quicker. And he's hitting with the left hand over and over and over again. But, he, but, but he's standing. Easy. Is Boogie really a southpaw? I'm going to try to only do it once. Like, he's not factoring in, like, the bag... I isn't going to, like, get up on him and stuff like that. Let's read some of the comments. Let's see. Bro, anytime you start to punch until it lands, I can take an all-inclusive week-long state of resort. Yeah. Um, what does it say here? It's showing, it's showing a picture of me on. Head
Will me and Boogie be shirtless? Most likely. I'm going to have Kelly shave my back before the fight. I weigh 418 right now. I can prove I weigh 418. Hello. It's ready. <clears throat> He's lying to me. 425.6. 418 this morning. Said 425.6. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't took a poop or peed in a while. I usually hang around 418 to 420, somewhere in that ballpark. But mo well, where have I been sitting around gaming? Like, be honest. Like, I haven't been streaming. What do you think I'm doing streaming? Just sitting around? No, I don't have a stream schedule, is it? Dog, I'm a big dude. I, ta I take some of the massive Stanley steamers. Fight's going to be free, Sean. It's a, it's a dark match to promote the pay-per-view. I mean, yeah, I'm sitting here gaming right now, but... You know, I still gotta keep. I still got bills and shit. I gotta pay between now and then. Like I said before, like I got to upkeep my normal everyday schedule as well as train for the fight because, like, there's already gonna be a week where I gotta be in. I gotta be overseas, right? And I'm gonna come back. There's probably a day or two I'm gonna be jet lagged, right? Here, here's the thing with that. Like, when my glasses are off, I, I have like cirrhosis or what is it? I don't know what the fuck you call, but I have like a redness right here. I also have a that but I, I look completely different without my glasses on so I, I looked older because you can kind of see acne scars but I look like a completely different person with my glasses on because you're not used to seeing me without my glasses on but I'm heavier than Boogie I knew I was heavier than Boogie but I am I am more agile and I got more muscle and I'm more athletic and I feel like I'm training harder than Boogie even though you guys don't agree but it's not for you guys to assess my goal is just to have better cardio than boogie like like i just jumped on the scale i i, I guessed i was 418 because that's what i was this morning i was 425 but you know i've ate lunch i've took a bath i've got clothes on now i'm not completely naked i haven't used the bathroom in a while uh yuri do you need me to consummate your marriage for you dude is that why you're asking no nah, i think I'm, i think boogie i think boogie's about 380 380, 390. I think I'm about 20, 20 to 30 pounds heavier than Boogie right now. Just from looks. Just from looks alone. Ultimate kill storm. Yeah, basically you don't take this seriously at all. You're not giving you an indication that you're actually physically training. I, I, I read your, your donation. Did Bucket leave? No, you're not having an anime picture while criticizing somebody. Be nice too. You know, we'd all get our way. So let me ask you guys a question. What do you, what would you, what would you be happy to see me do that would make you believe that I'm currently in better shape than Boogie? I don't know what a star jump is. But I'm not jumping. Dog, 30 minutes on a treadmill? Maybe at a low speed. Five push-ups? You guys are asking shit I can't do. Cartwheel. Dog, I can't do five push-ups. Mm. Nah, every time I punch a hole in the wall, I mean, I got to pay for that hole too. What sense would that make? Well, I mean, Kyle, you're a man and you probably can't back up a trailer. See, we have different barometers of what's right or wrong. The scale calibrates itself every time you use it. That's why it says, that's why it says weight. Because it's calibrating. My bag is outside. Hey, Sam, still waiting on my vacuum parts? You'll be waiting a long time because I don't sell vacuum parts. Uh, Matt, I didn't even see what you said. Well, you've got to put three bunnies for Boogie. But you just you just watched a side-by-side -side picture of me, how I can move and how Boogie just, you know, throws those hooks with like with like a with like a 10-minute break in between them. I'm doing uh, protein shakes. I don't know if that's a creat... I, I don't think that's creatine or anything like that, but I am doing protein shakes to help build muscle. All right, let's 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 do it. Let's, let's make see a chat. Let's start a poll. Who wins the fight? Bang. There you go. See who... Like, oh, damn. Boogie's out to a lead, son. A commanding lead. First off, I am training. And second off, like, just because I don't show it doesn't mean anything, man. Like, look at it this way, right? If I wasn't training, why would I invite Keemstar to my house to video me training for the fight in a way to hype it up? Keem's coming to my house to video... Keem... And a couple other guys, like, I don't want to say names right now because I don't have a complete list. Right? But Keem and a couple other guys are coming over to do, to film me training and actually help me train and stuff like that. Nah, but I, I knew I knew it was going to be boogied when I put the poll up because there's a lot of trolls in here right now. Nah, the contract ain't signed yet. Like, like, you motherfuckers act like I'm lying to you or some shit. We met up with some of our favorite fans to ask them what they love most about Premier Protein. When I say don't leave the house without it, I really don't. It's really good. Low calorie, low fat, low sugars. It's smooth, it's creamy, it's rich, and it's not too sweet. I use Premier Protein. What's my favorite flavor of Premier Protein shake? Chocolate. Mm -mm -mm. London OVO Arena. I think the tickets already sold out, though. Oh, no!
<laughs> Last I checked, there was there, the only tickets that were left were the really expensive ones, and uh, I think they're all gone. Mm. I'm I'm 60 in the waist, Wally e. Coyote. I could probably wear 58 if I had to. But I'm usually I'm usually between 58 and 60. I wear my I wear my pants on my stomach. Hey man, good GGs, GGs. I'm about to pull anyways. <laughs> what do you say? He said GGs. I'm about to pull anyway. I wear my pants like up here. Look on my day on my waist. I've took my shirt off on stream before. Rich streams on YouTube with a shirt off. <laughs> Ain't no TOS. You gotta be kidding me, no! <laughs> I'm fatigued. Ugh. I'm about to, about to shut it down. Oh, the fight's not canceled, boy. Fight ain't canceled. So nobody wants to play but Sir Slaughter? No, I'm not backing out the fight, man. Contract signed. I said three hours ago I didn't get it. No, I said I got the contract. There was questions I had to ask about it. Those questions have been answered now, so the contract's signed. Like, it's not that hard to say. Like, there was a sanctioning fee, and that fee's like 200 bucks. That has to come out of my purse. And I wanted to, I wanted a number to that fee before I signed it because I don't want to sign something not knowing what's all got to come out. My doctor diagnosed me with something called ridiculopathy. Don't know if I'm saying it or not. Ridiculopathy. <laughs> and I have to have some type of like, go to some specialist and have like a um, needles put into my leg and they're going to like shoot electricity through to find out which nerve is causing it. Is that in your leg? Yeah. Uh, uh, I don't have diabetes. I literally got my blood work right there. Like I'm not even a pre-diabetic. Mine's a... Uh, Mine's from a fall. Like the only thing my blood work showed was um, I had very trash vitamin D. Like you said, Boogie said was crossing the line. I see it like a wrestling match. He covered a good promo this time for the latest SmackDown. But I just don't like that. I think that's crossing the line. Wait, he said something like super disrespectful? Yeah, he, he basically pulled, he, calling me the, like a pedo and shit like that. What an asshole. Yeah, like, it is what it is. Happy oh. And I said yes. So he kept trying to find a fight for me. Originally same high, but obviously that dude would just murder me. So about, about a year ago, Keemstar asked me if I wanted to fight for his company, Happy Punch. And I said yes. So he kept trying to find a fight for me. Originally same high, but obviously that dude would just murder me. Then there was Ethan Ralph, who that just obviously didn't work because he's Ethan Ralph. Uh, now this fight with Jordy's actually happening. As I am recording this right now, Keemstar and a boxer and my friend Michael, kid behind the camera, are flying to Arkansas to film tomorrow, and this fight is happening on May 13th. There's no backing out. This is it. It's done. It's a done deal. On May 13th, I'm in the ring with Wings of Redemption, period. But with this fight coming up, I see a lot of rumors floating around, and I want to address them. For example, in my timeline today, I saw somebody say, Boogie, aren't you a 49-year-old man? Aren't you 400 pounds? Mm. Aren't you literally disabled by the United States government because you have a fused disc and arthritis in your knees? Is, uh, don't you have polycythemia? Don't you have an enlarged heart? Don't you have asthma? And I just want to say to that I want to say, like, he's getting all them excuses out of the way. Right, son. Person. Yes to all of that. All of that's true. That is all true. <laughs> what about the people saying, Boogie, don't you literally have a glass jaw with those implants? Aren't you risking $30,000 worth of dental work? Isn't there a chance you'd lose your teeth and be in dentures for the rest of your life? Yes. That's a, yeah, it's one of the risks I'm taking. My dentist is very much not a fan of me doing this. I'm sorry, Dr. Anderson. But Boogie, isn't Wings 10 years younger than you? Isn't he taller than you? Isn't he more mobile than you? Doesn't he have less health problems than you? Isn't he skinnier than you? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I think all that's true. Yeah, I'm definitely going into this as the underdog. So Boogie, why are you smiling like an idiot right now? This is crazy. This is dangerous. This is dumb. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't it great? Isn't that awesome? Look, Old Boogie would be super scared about this and trying to figure out a way out of it. And I know that because Old Boogie creeps up in the back of my head and telling me, hey man, we gotta fix this. You, well, this is gonna have a bad outcome. This is all bad, everything's scary. Da, 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 da. Let's just sit on our ass and rot, rot away. And I'm not, I'm not gonna do that anymore. I'm done listening to other people. I'm done listening to Old Scared Boogie. This is a challenge I put in front of myself and I'm excited to overtake it. And I got a few reasons for doing that and I want to talk about those reasons with you. Let's yeah, hear I get em. to go to London and I've always wanted to go. And on top of that, I do get paid. 
but it's not retirement money. It's not life-saving money. It's not risk your life and your health money. I can tell you that. So that's not why it's we're not. doing this. If I'm being truly honest with you today, my brain, my body, this person that I am is wired to do two things. Number one is get attention. I'm just, I like attention. I think every human does. Don't let them tell you otherwise. Every influencer certainly does. Every content creator, they want attention, right? Uh, but what I want to do with that attention is pure, man. Video. I want to help watching people. It. I've always you wanted to help people. I lost eight sight minutes. of it for a while, and that's why everything it's gonna take shit. Eight minutes to explain I'm back why to it. That's my like primary goal, is to help yes. people. And I hope my that's content terrible. proves that every day, and I hope this fight proves Dang, that's a long I'm going into this thing with the plans of winning. But there's a very real possibility that could not happen. Then, if I can just make it all the way to the end of this fight, make it through all three rounds, and Rocky this shit, I'll be happy with that. If I'm being honest, if I'm still standing at the end of this thing, I will be really proud of myself. If I can lumber my giant body into that ring and take a beating and hopefully dish one out as well, if I can take this calculated risk and get the best possible outcome, then hopefully I show the people watching that they can take the calculated risk as well and get the best possible outcome. And hopefully they will be little less afraid to do the things they need to do. If I can face my fears, then you can face yours. You can learn that by watching this. I mean, don't get me wrong. There's going to be some people in there that's just going to tune in to watch two fat guys make fun of them. And that's okay. But there's also going to be a few people out there, hopefully, who are inspired by this. And if it's just one or two people, then it's worth taking a beating to help one or two people. I'll gladly take it. Knock my ass out, Wings, if it helps somebody. Hopefully it at least helps Wings. But if I'm being genuinely honest, again, in this video, and it's hard to even admit this on camera, I'm doing this for me. 110%. I want to earn back some of my self-respect. This is why he's going to lose. I want to prove to myself that I can face my fears. I want to prove to myself that I can rise to the challenges that I've created for myself in this life and overcome them. I want to prove that with this fight. I want to prove that to me. Nobody else but me. And if I can, I'm going to do my absolute best to put Jordy on his ass. I promise you I will. I promise you. I imagine most people have stopped watching this video by now. It's like five minutes in. And if that's the case, I can say this to myself, but I can also say it to the people that stuck around to hear it, okay? This is a very important first step to putting everything I've learned in the last few weeks into action. This is me learning to trust myself so that I can trust the universe and trust others. This is me learning to love myself so that I can love the universe and I can love others. This is the first step towards helping myself so that I can help the universe and help others. And that's everything I'm here for. That's everything I want. I got everything else out of my system. I got the women stuff out of my system. I got the video game stuff out of my system. I got the traveling out of my system. I just, man, I want to make videos that help me and help others. That's it. That's it. That's my life. That's all I want. Shit, he's further me. I yeah, should try. That's all my last breath. I don't even want to make videos. Entertain and help others. And entertain and help myself. That's a hell of a life, ain't it? And I hope I get to do it forever. For the people that won't watch this, I get it. I respect it. For the people who are watching it for the same Where's my? Where's the message you're supposed to have? I love you. But even for those of you who are going to watch this just to clown on us, I promise you I'm going to make it as entertaining as possible, okay? That's, I'm Andy that's the goal. Shit if I can, all right? Uh, when we're filming with Keemstar tomorrow... Uh, I promise you I'm going to be as entertaining as possible. I'm going to give you the entertainer that you're looking for. I'm going to give you plenty to make fun of and laugh at. But you always have this video to see the authentic, real me and know how I actually feel and know what I'm actually doing. And I hope it's helpful. And then finally, Jordy, if you're watching this video, and I got a feeling you probably will, I got a message for you, buddy. Um, I've tried to message you personally a few times. You don't seem to be into it. So let me just go ahead and say it here, okay? Good luck, man. I hope we both use this opportunity to better our lives and better our self-esteem and better our futures. And I love and respect you, brother. And I hope we put on a good show. And I hope nobody gets hurt. But if someone has to get hurt, <laughs> I hope it's you. <laughs> that said, I'm filming with Keemstar this week. I'm traveling this weekend. I'm training every day. My YouTube schedule, my stream schedules, it's going to be a little wonky for a little while. But I'm going to do my best to keep you entertained. But May 13th, Big day. I hope you'll be ready. Well, here, here's 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 here's, here's the thing with the, with the boogie it. fight. I hope you love it, and I hope it's a good time for everybody. As always, thanks for watching. I love you very much, and I.
I got no intention of pulling a punch. Zero. Like, I'm going to go in there and try my best to win. Which, I don't want to be, like, so confident. But, like, I'm... Let's say this. I'm 99% sure I'm the favorite. <laughs> I'm going to put it that way. I'm 99... I'm 99% sure I'm the favorite. Like, like I'm way more agile than him. Like, I, I've played sports in my life. I've played baseball. I've done physical labor jobs before in my life. I used to hunt. I used to fish. I've been active. It wasn't until, like, the last 15 years of my life that I was, like, a, sed a sedentary, like, fucking, you know, cancer lump. Oh, dude, I plan on, I, like, I plan on completely being, like, I have a whole thing set up. Like, I plan on having the better intro and all this other stuff. But at the same time, like, I want this to be a fun, entertaining event. That's the goal, is to be entertaining. Like, even if I go in and I knock Boogie flat out, like, ten seconds, I'm going to try to pick his ass up and give that motherfucker a hug. Because I want this to be an, I want this to be an event that everybody has fun at. Including him. The written <laughs> recluse. Because, like, people are like, oh, you're not going to wear a shirt boxing? No, I ain't going to wear a shirt boxing. I'm going to show all my fucking man titties and all that other shit because that's what people want to see. That's part of the spectacle. I'm get I'm getting paid not and like I said like you said it's not earth change it's not life changing money like I said before at the beginning of this stream like four hours ago that uh that um <clears throat> I have two or three business ventures that are gonna put a lot more money in my pocket this year and I still won't make half of what Phil makes but I will have life changes and I and I have like something to stick back here like boxing trunks and boxing gloves and I have good stories to tell that you know Phil won't and I'm not trying to compare my life to Phil but like because I'm, I'm using his his income as a barometer here <clears throat> ah I, it, it is true I'm only doing this for money but I'm doing this like like I'm doing this because I know at some point in my life I'm gonna get sick at some point in my life, I'm going to have the problems Boogie has, even if I lose all the weight this year or any time, right? I've already done significant damage to my spine, to my knees, to my joints, you know. But I'm not disabled. My blood works other than my vitamin D is immaculate, and I'm working on my vitamin D. I mean, I'm getting stronger every day. I'm drinking my protein shakes. I'm trying to stay off the soda as much as humanly possible. Which is 100%, but like, you know, as much as a fat 400 pound person can, because like I get, I got, it's like crack to me. Like, I, like when I don't drink soda for like three days, I start feeling it in my damn jaw. Like, um, it's all true. My blood works right here. Here's my blood work. Thanks here. You can't really, it doesn't have my name on it or anything, but this is my blood work printed out. Like I showed the only, like, like the only thing I didn't show is like, I don't know if you can see this, but like right here, it says 213 and it says hi, this is triglycerides. It's supposed to be like 149, yeah, 149, less than 149. So, like, my cholesterol is a smidge high, but my cholesterol has been a smidge high since I was 20. Right? I usually hang around 180 to 220 on cholesterol. <clears throat> but, like, I'm not a pre-diabetic. I'm not a diabetic at all. Like, I like I, I, I was telling Kelly, like, if I didn't like fried chicken and, and Coca-Cola, I was, my body was designed to be an athlete's body. And I know people make fun of that. But, like, you know, if I wasn't a glutton. Dude, what most people's high cholesterol is, that number's like five, six hundred. 
right? That's what it is. Like being at 213 when you're supposed to be at 150, that's a smidge. Let's, I'll, just, I'll just give both examples. Like if she don't like you back yet, what you got to do is you got to get your, you got to get her out of the house and be around her. Not so much as one on one, like a date, but be get in a social environment. Sell yourself without selling yourself. Like you generally, women like guys that are confident, confident, charismatic. You know that's the kind of thing. So if you're crushing on her and you think you got a chance, find a way to be around her. The more you're around her, the more you fill her out, the higher chance you have to do something. Don't Are mansplain. You that you never tried to find ways to be around me? What? Should I be concerned you never tried to find ways to be around me? I married you. Yeah, but <laughs> you didn't find, try to find ways to be around me. How did you try to find ways? I know a dude right now that, that streams Diablo 2 and gets 800 viewers. And Diablo 2 is a 25 year old game like how old the game is means nothing it just means I do a bad job uh, you're not gonna get training streams that's just probably not gonna happen you might get a Wii boxing stream I'm, I'm not gonna try it I don't, I don't have the setup for it all I have is an iPhone and I don't have anybody to hold it I don't have any way to set it up nothing of that nature like my stream setup is set up right here how did I, I I can move, man. I'm not. <laughs> I'm. I'm not at the point where I can't move. Yeah, but then I can't interact with chat, and I'm gonna be gassed within the first 15 minutes. And then most of the stream is me sitting down outside with Bongo sniffing at me. Wind's gonna make the audio trash. It's just. It'll be a bad. It'll be a bad stream, and then people just complain about the stream being bad. It's, it's good. I'll do this and train on my own. I also don't want to scare Boogie, because Boogie already thinks he's going to lose. And the only way I don't get paid is Boogie dropping out. I guarantee right now Boogie can't... Boogie would get tired within one exchange if we fought right now. Because fighting is very cardio intensive. I'm not worried about that. I'm going to have a posse with me everywhere I go. Dude, like I said, I ain't a fighter. But you gotta understand, like, most of these guys that come here to hate on me, they ain't fighters either. It's a big leap meeting somebody in person and doing what they do. You no, know, I'm all, there's gonna, there's good, there's gonna be the entire Punch Happy crew. There's gonna be other fighters that are taking place in the event. There's gonna be trainers, coaches, like, it's not gonna be like you're walking by yourself to places. Dude, I'm gonna be real with you. My fan base isn't gonna grow. Half the people out here are convinced that the fight isn't going to happen from, like, troll videos. I'm going to get my bag and just go back to doing what I do right now. And to put it back, I'm going to fight Boogie in London, and I still probably won't make half of what Phil makes this year. That's the sad part. Again, I've seen London in pictures. I don't know. <laughs> They'll come out when they come out. You got that right. DSP's in three times the dead I am. I mean, the only debt I have right now is is the debt I just accrued on my house. And that's it. Dude, I'm not even stressed about my debts. Like, I just, I just, I'm more stressed about savings than I am debts. Like, my savings is nowhere where I want it to be. Like, at this point in my life, I should have over 100k in the bank, and I don't. What's your plan for obtaining more money, Jordy? Uh, the plan's not obtaining more money. The, you're always going to have to make money. The plan is to just find a way of life that you're happy with, that you net a positive of money that you you spend less money than you use that's that's the goal like you ever heard the term like it doesn't matter how much you make it other terms how you spend it that's what they're saying i mean like it like you can't really get ahead in, the, in today's society with like a mcdonald's job right unless it's like your second or third job so like to believe like you know because like it's almost impossible to live on the salary that like somebody like a mcdonald's pays that's why people are always advocate for a higher minimum wage because like most wages now don't even cover the basic necessities because we live in a country where like a car is considered a privilege but it's almost it should be considered a necessity right it's like internet internet is considered a privilege but if you don't have access to the internet you can't even apply for most jobs now or like example like a bank account's a privilege that should be considered a necessity because like 
most jobs won't even write you a paper check. Yeah, in New York City it's not. Unless you're going to bike 20 miles a day to work an 8 to 12 hour shift at minimum wage. Shit gets rough. I'm not... Leon, why would you even ask me that? Matter of fact, get banned, Leon. Like, like... I'll unban you later. But that, that dumbass, that response. You see people try to use information I put out there against me. People ask me stuff to try to get information so they can do these... 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 You know... Shit like this. And then you ask me, like, what day am I flying out? First, I don't know. Here's your answer. Second, it, it's... Like, I'm not going to give you that information. I'm not going to tell you what hotel I'm staying at. I'm not going to tell you what day I'm flying out. If money was no object, what country would I visit? None of them. Like, if, I, like if money wasn't a big deal, I'd probably sit around chill with a wife for the rest of my life. Wait around for death. Like, I have no ambitions to go do other shit, right? Like, I don't want to see the world. It's like... If you, if you offer me a trip that ba paid me nothing, but it was at no cost to me to see the Grand Canyon, I would look at it as like three days I didn't get the stream, and it, I'd be $300 in the negative. That's the way I would look at it. Uh, Sundry, I don't expect a bump at all in the fight. Like, if I would've got a bump, I would've got a bump when the fight was announced, and I didn't. I honestly believe that the more publicity I get put on me, the worse my life will be. Probably if I feel different, Brandon, but I'm not. I'm not in a bad mood right now. I was in a bad mood the other day. If I'm in a bad mood right now, I'd be banning everybody. I usually ban people over and over again when I'm in a bad mood. Now, I'm not going on PK. No, I mean, like, my life is always this bleak. I just don't talk about it. It's just like, I, I, like, like, it's not really bleak. I don't care about seeing the world, my homebody. Because my life is pain, PNF. I'm a mysterious drifter. Because he was the, because he was the guy that's filming. The Keemstar interview. I don't. Other than that, I don't, I don't know anything else. He also lives near me. I don't have one. <laughs> Dude, I would disagree with you. My life could be so much easier than it is right now. Michael Merchant, I know what you're trying to say, and you're what, what what you're actually coming at me like, as I don't live in one of the poorest states in the union. I understand what hardship is, man. I under I, I understand. I've seen people addicted to heroin. The lot is. I've seen people. You know, fucking abandon their kids and sell like fucking the catalytic converter off their car to fucking feed a heroin addiction. I've seen people drink themselves to death. I've seen it all. I, I came from a poor background. I know where it is. I, I know. I know what hardship is. I know what being poor is. I have a fear of roaches because the house I grew up in, they used to crawl on me when I slept. Right? Do I have the hardest life in the world? No. But I have a life a lot of people couldn't handle. 100% Thomas. Me and my brother only got one or two games, if that, a year. We usually got something on our birthday, and we got something on Christmas. Dude, you act like I've never had an outside job. Remember when I used to do DoorDash, and I did that more, and made less money, but it made me happier because I was outside the house and not, do, and not having to deal with people? Working a regular job isn't that fucking bad. Like the only reason I haven't just quit streaming now is because of my fucking legs. And I'm working on getting my fucking back surgery right now to try to fix that problem. Because I can't stand up for the same spot for like 5 or 10 minutes. I have to be moving. And as I've gotten older, it's gotten worse. I can't stream DoorDash. Trolls got me fired from it. Uh, Uber, Eats don't, Uber Eats isn't in my area like that. <clears throat> Hell, DoorDash ain't in my area like that anymore. Like, DoorDash was only popping because of the uh, stimulus checks. You got a lot of people that didn't have money that had money. And they used it to buy hamburgers for $40. So DoorDash was popping. Dude. <laughs> my weight isn't the issue. People hate on low tier God and he ain't fat. Cameo would be a big earner for me, Thomas. Let me ask. Let me show you something. I'm going I'm to pull back the curtain for you one time. You just, The first hour of this stream. Right? I had a person sitting here talking about the owner of the OVO Arena is getting sent all the clips that they have that's taken out of context that I've already apologized for in the New York Times. And they're still trying to weaponize it because they don't want me to succeed. That's the, that's the whole gist of it. They just don't want me to, to make any money or to try to make any opportunities. Right? And they're, they're trying their best to get me to not have this boxing opportunity. Right? 
How long do you think my cameo would last? One day? Two days? Three days? How long? How long to... Because the second I open a cameo account is the second I lose a cameo account. It's a... Like, the second I open one, it's a burnt bridge. The only... So, the best way to wait... Is till this... Till all this shit ends. Mr. Wings, I'm sure you discussed with Kip Out Error. I used to be... I think Michael's content is mainly clickbait. No, we just talked... Me and Kip by the camera, I'm not going to get into his business. But we just talked about, you know, life and shit like that. There was nothing really talked about. He forgot that we met in 2010. Uh, I got through off of, um, I'll tell you right now, I got through off of, like, Stream Labs and Stream Elements because they sent, like, a letter claiming I was the leader of a pedophile ring. And these were all these YouTube clips cl claiming I was a pedophile. They do the same thing to Cameo. They're probably doing the same thing to the people that do this boxing shit. It doesn't matter if you're jealous or not. Their their goal is to get me to lose opportunities. Like, like look at this right here. Like, I could legitimately sell, like, my trunks to Wendy's right now if I wanted to for, like, $100,000. But if I came out and said I did that, they would just go there and try their hardest to get it canceled. Like, I couldn't celebrate it. And even if I showed up and, and got the bag beforehand, I'd be burning a bridge there, too. I'm about to end stream out. No, this is Final Fantasy XII. I'm about to end it. We only made $15 in two hours. No, I'm not mad about that. I, I didn't plan on streaming at all today. So, like, it is what it is. But this is why I don't... This is why I don't stream anything but, like, Call of Duty. Honestly, it's probably gonna... I'm probably gonna be streaming less and less, Pingling. I've been doing this shit for seven years now. And it feels like the whole world's against me. And it gets... It gets exhausting. It, it's... It's just stupid, man. It's just stupid. I'm not a bad person. I'm nothing these people make me out to be. Their goal is to, like, get me arrested, which is never going to happen because I've never done anything illegal. So, like, since they can't do that, they, you know, they do shit and they pretend to be people and all this other mess. Yeah, it's because that's all people talk about. Like, the same thing with Phil. Like, I understand completely why Phil... Because people complain, like, Phil, why do you always talk about money? It's because the only thing people ask Phil about is money. That's it. It's the only thing they ask him about is money. They don't, they don't interact with the game he plays. They don't, they don't really have fun with it. Like I was watching a guy the other day named Zero Lenny. He does these like, um, he plays like Dark Souls games and like reads like IGN guides and like tr does exactly what the IGN guide does. And it's like I was enjoying myself watching his video. Then all of a sudden I see a clip where I had emotional breakdown. And it's like, it made me sad as fuck, man. It's like, is that all people see me as? It's like, a fucking meme. Yeah, but, again, you only, you only can talk about what people ask you about. Like, all people are asking about is like, when's the Keemstar video? I don't fucking know. Do, do I look like Keemstar? I look like I ate Keemstar, maybe. Keemstar's videos have a lot more into it than than the normal videos. Like Keemstar has audio engineers, and I don't know when the videos are coming out. I'm sure Keemstar is getting paid enough to make sure the videos come out. Did I unsubscribe? What do you mean? All I'm saying is this, and th this won't go make it on troll videos. But you got to sometimes realize I'm a human too, and I, I think a lot of people forget that that people that you watch feel anybody they're humans at the end of the day thank you cloud again for the donation and i think a lot of people miss that 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 there's the, human beings here i'm not some monster i don't have an ulterior motive all i try to do is make money play video games and talk to you guys that's it like but people want to continually compare me to like shit that i did almost two decades ago What's my thoughts on the Crisp and Wild murders? That it's it's a tragedy. As an example, doing something that you think you're gonna love. Be she yo Jordy, just so people are asking to be satiated. Michael from the crew yesterday. Who's Michael from the crew? Is that is that like kid behind the camera's name? It's like I I don't know um I don't know a Michael. Most part, yeah. I knew Overflow in, in Keemstar's name. I just didn't really ask. <clears throat> Like, most of it was all business. Like, we went straight out and did the training footage, did the drone shots, came back in, did the interview. And, like, what you're seeing the other day where they're signing the wall was, like, towards the end of it where everybody was tired and I was sitting down and shit. Like, I'm more anxious now that since I complained publicly, people are going to use it against me, and I know they will. So it's like, uh, it's whatever. At this point, 
I just deal with life as it comes to me. My goal is to spend as little money as humanly possible, try to make as money, much money as humanly possible, and deal with shit as it pops up. Pingling, ask to be a mod again, I'll just ban you, dude. Yeah, Keemstar, the, the whole thing with the Pepsis, which I haven't been trying to drink much soda, because I've, you know, I've trying to lose this weight, which I've, I've lost since, since I got on Exempted, I've lost over 10 pounds. Otto, how much you getting paid, man? All weight loss drugs take off muscle mass. That's a that's a that's a side effect of a <clears throat> that's a side effect of losing weight. Because if you're not working out while lose while basically starving yourself, your body's gonna eat muscle before it eats fat because muscles are have more nutrients in it than fat cells. That's where Zempit loses muscle. It's the same as every other weight loss drug or surgery or anything of that nature. If you don't use muscle, you're gonna lose muscle. Scales now. That's not how that works, man. If you want something for me, what's in it for me? What you got for me? Besides a demand. That's what it is. Use it or lose it. I'm not worried about Boogie at all. Like, honestly. I know exactly what I weigh right now. I weigh between 414 and 415 right now. You realize a guy my size... You realize in two months I lost over 100 pounds after weight loss surgery, right? I could, I could easily be 380 before the fight. And that's where my goal is. My goal is to be 380 before the fight. Nah, I'm, I was 414 before doing everything out. May 13th. I was not 420 on the date of the surgery. I was 472 on the date of the surgery. And there's no point where I claim to be 420 on the date of the surgery. Stop talking about shit like you know, man. I barely play Call of Duty anymore, Zalem. Let's see how much money we made. I... I have an issue with music in games. Like, I get headaches real easily if I hear the same repetitive sound. So, like, that's the quickest way to get me irritated. So, like, I can't stand hearing, like, I can't hear the game at all. Like, I have my headset completely turned off. Like, all I hear right now is, like, the air conditioner in the background. You can't hear my PlayStation at all, man. What you're hearing is my air conditioner. My PS5 doesn't make a noise. I don't have any of my R6, all of them. I had a, I had a camo on my account worth more than $1,000. Like if you if you sold like sold access to it. Dream, what you doing? Having a disaster stream. What about you? This is not a disaster stream. Yeah, you probably shouldn't see this as your therapy session. I don't have nobody to talk to. <laughs> you give me the same answers all the time. Because they're the right answers. I don't have to change my answer because they're right. Mm -hmm. uh. I don't know, Batman the Farter. Donate fifty dollars and we'll find out. Oh God, what's stop? Shit, I gotta make the donation goal somehow. We're at forty bucks, <laughs> and twenty of that came from Squirrel. What's up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? Big Two Ninety Eight coming at you. I was again through the power of the internet, and this is one of my rambling videos. This is my vlogging video, which I just talk about life in the universe and things around me that are particularly interesting to me. I hope you enjoy this type of thing. And if you do, drop a like on the video, leave a cool comment. There'll be a keyword at the end of this video. So you definitely want to leave that keyword in your comment. So I know you made it all the way to the end. First, let me do a little bit of promotion. Uh, my podcast that I've done a couple of episodes of now has its own channel. I think you will really enjoy that podcast. If you decide to tune into it, the link is going to be down below. Click the link, watch some of the highlights, Check out episode three when it drops later this week. Episode three is an interview with Keemstar. And I got Keemstar to open up in a way I've never heard him open up at all. He talked about the most horrid stuff he's ever done and how he feels about it. And I think you're going to be really interested in that because I was shocked. So go click the link, give it a follow, turn on notifications. That way when the video drops, you'll be there to see it. But I don't know if you can tell from my voice, but I'm fighting off an upper respiratory thing, which is pretty common uh, when I travel or I have to be around other people. I traveled for a week with my friend, kid behind the camera, Michael, and we filmed content together. And I was on my feet like 24 hours a day. And I trained for boxing over the weekend. And I hung out with a bunch of friends and I went to a convention and I basically really wore down my immune system. But you know what? It's not kept me from training since I got home. I'm still lifting the weights. I'm still hitting the bag. I'm still going on my walks. Doesn't matter. I just cough up phlegm the whole time I'm doing it because we are two weeks away from fight time. And I know you want me to talk about that. So let's talk about it. My medicals are cleared. My application is in. My passport is ready. 
The only thing left is for me to show up, and I absolutely plan to do that. And I've talked to Keemstar, and he's telling me the exact same thing is true for Jordy. So for all of you people who said, oh, this fight's never happening, Boogie's going to back out. Jordy's going to back out. This is all a con. This is all a bit. What's it like to take that L? I cannot tell you the changes that I had to make in the last couple of months to get clear for medicals. Uh, whether it's therapy and, and training or changing medications or getting off certain medications and going on new ones, it took a lot. Uh, but my doctor finally signed off. And I'm glad I did the work because right now I feel great. I look great. And I do not want to talk about my current weight because my current weight is over 400 pounds. I have put on weight while training, even though I've dieted, even though I've exercised, I have put on weight probably because I got back on my testosterone supplement. So I'm building muscle for the first time in a year, but I'm probably going to weigh in at about 405 at this thing. So be prepared for that. But I'll tell you what I was really surprised by. Uh, Keemstar was at my house last Wednesday to film that documentary. The documentary was going to drop on Monday on YouTube. So go watch it. Uh, it was a lot of fun to work with him, but I was on my feet a lot. I was moving a lot, a lot more than I used to before I started training. And then the next day, you know, me and Mike went down to Houston and then we got to Houston and we explored Houston. And then I did a convention and at night we went out and partied and then I drove back home and I explored Galveston and all this other stuff. And I was on my feet every day, 10, 12 hour days. And yeah, I'm just going to be honest with you. My back hurt. My legs hurt. I was sore. I was tired, but I got through it. And I'm telling you years ago. Before I started this boxing training and stuff, when I would go to Disneyland and stuff, I would be wrecked. Well, no, I got home and I was tired. I was sore, but I wasn't wrecked. I just went right back to training. No gaps, no breaks, no sleeping 48 hours like you used to after like a, a LA trip. I just, I feel young again. I feel healthy again. I feel good again. And I, I'd like to think you can see it. I, I don't know when I stand up, if I look good, I, I certainly look fat as hell. But have you seen me moving? Have you seen these videos I've been filming with my friend Mike? Have you seen them here on the channel? Do you, can you tell the difference? Because I, it's night and day to me. It's I feel 20 years younger. I, I'm shocked by it. Sometimes I wonder how much of it's related to getting my mental health right. That now I'm able to get my physical health right. I don't know. But they're both coming along splendidly. And I can't wait to show you that on May 13th. Over the weekend, I got some lessons in. I sparred with a, a couple of friends who are ex-boxers. And they showed me what I was doing right and showed me what I was doing wrong. And we talked strategy. And I think I'm going into this about as prepared as I can be. And I'm trying to schedule some boxing lessons between now and fight night so that I have even more information and knowledge. And I'm going into this as prepared as a 48-year-old YouTuber can be. Uh, and I'm going into this with high hopes, if I'm being honest with you. I'm definitely going to make it through all three rounds. It's three two-minute rounds. I hope anybody can make it through that, including me. Uh, but I, I'm got some technique now. I've got some strength now. I've got some power now. I've got some endurance now. If I can put Jordy on his ass, I want to, if I can win this thing, I want to, and I'm going to try. And I don't think I'm going to let Jordy knock me out. I know that's not going to happen. I definitely ain't going to let him knock me down. Look, if, if eight year old boogie can get hit in the face by his mom, then 48 year old boogie can get hit in his face by Jordy. I think I'm going to be okay. That woman hit me in the head with a hammer, Jordy, when I was 16. What are you going to do that compares to that? Hit me with your giant flabby meat fist? Come on. I guess if I'm spilling secrets here, I want to let you know I reached out to Jordy and like try to talk to him like a friend, which is probably a big mistake considering we're about to fight each other. But I tried anyway. That guy ain't having it. I don't know. Does he have any friends? Because he just does not come across as the friendly type. I wanted to know a little bit more about his training. I wanted to little, know a little bit more about his skill level. I wanted to know a little bit more about what I was getting into here. He ain't sharing shit. Um, he came across as pretty unlikable and shut me down on just about everything I tried to do. Which makes sense. We are fighting each other, but I'm a people pleaser. I wanted to be friends with everybody. But apparently I ain't going to get to be friends with Jordy. No real big loss. I mean, I played high school football and we had rivalries, but they were friendly rivalries. Jordy, did you not play sports? Did you forget the friendly part? He's not having the friendly part here. He's definitely taking the rivalry part seriously. And I think this guy is under the impression that fame and fortune lies on the other side of me. So he has to go through me to get it. Then that's how I'm treating you, buddy. I'm going to go through you to get the things that I want. 
I'm sorry that I'm going to have to trample you to get there. This is the part of the video where Boogie would say something like, as long as I trained for it, as long as I showed up, I'm proud of myself. No, man, I won't be proud of myself. I want to be disappointed. I want to win this thing. I want to put on a good show. I want to put on a good fight. I want to knock his ass out. That's what I want. I think I deserve that. And I've built a lot of my self-respect back by training for this thing and getting ready for this thing and showing up for this thing. But if I really want my self-respect back, I need to win this thing. So I plan to die trying if I have to. I think in the last few weeks especially, I've realized, man, I'm tired of being a fat, lazy shit. I don't want to go back to that. I don't want to do that anymore. I sought comfort. And that comfort became my prison. And I'm tired of, of not taking care of my career or my body or my mind or myself or my life. I want to make good content. I want to fight for all of this stuff. Fight for my life. Fight for my body. Fight for my career. Fight for my respect. Fight for my self-respect. Fight for your respect. I want to grow the fuck up. I want to grow the fuck up. So here we go. Anyways, two weeks from fight day. And I'm feeling my power. I'm feeling my strength. I'm feeling proud of myself. And I hope that you're proud of yourself too. And in fact, that's going to be the key word for this video. Are you proud? Are you proud of the life you led? Are you proud of your family? You're proud of your, your kids. You're proud of your pets. You're proud of the work you've done. What are you proud of? Let me know. Use the word proud in the comment section. And I'll know you made it all the way to the end of this eight-minute rambling video. And I hope you guys are excited for this as I am. It's going to be one of the best times of my life. Certainly one of the most meaningful. And hopefully, hopefully fun. I don't know how fun getting beat up can be, but beating somebody else up, that actually kind of sounds fun right now. That actually sounds kind of fun. Well, I would not have said that six months ago, but it sounds pretty fun right now. Anyway, as always, guys, I hope you're proud of yourself. And as always, thanks for watching. I love you very much, and I will speak with you again soon. Let's go! Oh, God, I wish I could get my voice back. This is my mouth guard for the fight. <laughs> I thought it was cool. <sighs> Man said I leaked an address. I don't even have, I'm not even logged into an account. I mean, there's my zip code, but yeah. There's no address on there. Yeah, I'm not wearing contacts during boxing. My eyesight is good enough to uh, go without glasses. I, I prefer to watch boxing over MMA too. But like the problem with boxing is the politics around it. I mean, MMA is more of a fight skill, right? MMA is, MMA is more of what a real fight would be like. But boxing to me, I love the scientific strategy behind it. Like I love the feints. I love the I love parries. I love like the the pacing, freaking people out. Like uh, Galapagos, um, the Greek meet will be at uh, the OVO Arena. Wings wins the fight. I'll give you two hundred fifty if you knock Boogie out. That's the goal. The goal is to knock him out. Trust me, I'm not trying to get embarrassed by a fifty year old man that's on disability. Not trying to. I I don't know who Boogie's traveling with. How confident am I? Whew, I'd bet real money on it. I'd bet two thousand dollars on myself. I'd bet money on myself. Uh, that's a boogie question. I don't know anything about boogie's finances. I only know what he tells out in the open like you do. Am I going to bring Pikachu with me? No, I'm not. We're or we're already tapped for space. Like, the thing with international trips is you got to check a bag there, and you got to check a bag back. So you got to pay two ways for your bags. Uh, when did the last time I get cracked hard in the face? Oh, the 18th of April. So like, uh, 11 days ago. Uh, Boston Powers, every fight I ever got into was in grade school, and I cheated. Kelly doesn't like the fight. But Kelly knows it's the best move for me right now. Uh, I didn't get to pick my opponent, Demand. Uh, Boogie signed on with Happy Punch end of last year. And he called out Ethan Ralph. And Ethan Ralph bounced. And then he tried to fight somebody else. And they didn't want to fight. And then in middle of March, they contacted me and asked me if I would fight Boogie. And I said yes. What's my realistic predictions for the fight? I'm going to go, I'm gonna go out round one arrogant as fuck. Until I get smashed in the face. And then I'm going to get serious about it. And I don't know how long it's going to take Boogie to get me clean. That's my prediction. But once I get serious about it, I, I, I see myself dropping Boogie within 30 seconds. There's no treadmill in my office.
So like everything I've learned, I've learned in like span of four weeks. Like I've been, I've been more worried about like trying to last two minutes. Like that's my goal. Like every day I wake up, it's like, can I go two minutes of high intensity? So like everything I do, I try to do in two minute intervals. Cause like, I'm not gonna get to the point where I don't fucking gas out. Cause it's gonna happen. And, and I, it's probably gonna happen right at the beginning of the second round. But I don't have to go the whole six minutes without gassing. I just gotta go longer than Boogie. That's that's the real inch issue here. <clears throat> yeah, we'll be flying on King's private jet. It's got a big drama alert thing on the side of it. Why you say that, Devil Star? Like, you, there's a video right there of me punching for like 30 seconds. Like, I mean, like, you got you got to say you got to figure another 30 or 40 seconds are gonna be like feeling each other out. I think I could easily make it to the second middle of the second round before you know fatigue really sets in. There's a difference in going five minutes on a bag and five minutes on a bag. Sitting here doing this number. I most certainly can prove that. Watch on May 13th when I sleep boogie. I hope boogie don't be doing that Ryan Garcia when I start working that body. Uh, my birthday was last week. Uh, the tickets are sold out for the fight in person. Tickets are sold out. <laughs> A thousand percent, dude. I've got, let me add it up before I just make a number up. I got $350 into a passport. I have, as of right now, I have $700 into my boxing gear. So there's a thousand. I got, you know, there's another four, $400 between travel from, you know, paying for parking, baggage, and you know, that there's $1,400. I have 488 on an MRI scan. I have another 15 on an eye doctor appointment. I have another 25 on a doctor appointment. I got another 25 on a blood work copay. So I'm over $2,000 into this fight already, out of my pocket. Dingle, if I don't find a sponsor, most likely five, $6,000 is what I'll actually make for the fight. I don't know how many tickets they were. I know you can't buy them right now. Uh, Keemstar paid for the plane tickets themselves. Um, I don't want to talk about the plane trip in specifics. We got a cat coming. We're about to remake the thumbnail here in a second. Fights May 13th, Snow. May 13th. I uh, check out because they want to create a narrative, stopping them from giving them a platform to create a narrative. I don't know if any betting lines are out, but I'm almost pretty sure DraftKings is going to hold hold the event, like have a line open for it. We're actually the main event of the prelims. There's three fights ahead of us. May 13th, Cult of Masculinity. I'm most definitely going to call somebody out if, if, if I win. Call out Wings 007? No. First off, he's like 160 pounds soaking wet and that motherfucker couldn't afford to do any of the stuff to actually get a boxing license i'm 100 percent going to uh win by ko I did, did you did you not just watch the video i just put out if my right hook can move a 70 pound bag what do you, what do you think it's going to do to a guy that's never been hit before remember when boogie picked somebody to hit him he picked the guy that starred in the new kid right he didn't he didn't go out there and get a, a real average sized man he picked a dude that looks like he has a hacking like sub career well you haven't seen it yet but the documentary comes out may 1st in the documentary i get i get i get punched multiple times by pj who's a black belt in brazilian jiu-jitsu take it on the chin without guarding myself that's something you look forward to in the video coming out may 1st i picked a guy who works out athlete cares about his body to hit me boogie picked the dude that you know the biggest argument he gets into is which like power the magic the gathering card has like which deck is better we ain't on the same page i'm out here dropping weight so I can drop some weight. You feel me, Playboy? You feel me? Uh, Nicholas Bugs. I can help you train for free. I've lost over 100 pounds. Um, there's probably not enough time. 16 out gloves, uh, Jackson. That's what we we have to fight. We have to fight with 16 out gloves because there's different requirements. Like for example, like since we don't want to use headgear because it defeats the purpose of like celebrity boxing to cover your face. To get to get a lower threshold for medical clearance, you have to use 16 ounce gloves which are essentially training gloves and that isn't for me that was mainly for boogie boogie has a lot of health issues it's celebrity influencer it's all interchangeable i don't think it eliminates all chances of a knockout no it, in my head in my head if i win this fight i might fight again and if i win that fight i might fight a third time but i'm never probably going past three ain't nobody gonna kill anybody boogie passed his medicals so like boogie either found a doctor that was willing to sign off he can fight or boogie can boogie can fight <laughs> It's gonna be it's gonna be live stream on the Misfits. This dude is calling like a restaurant to see if you can punch the meat in the yeah, freezer. Yeah, I want to punch the meat right now. Right. Uh, do you have like big slabs of meat just like hanging from a freezer? No, we don't do any of the slaughtering here. Oh, do you know anybody that might actually? I'm willing to be your meat. Show me, show me, show me the meat. Pete, <laughs> <laughs> show me. Get over there, get no, over Let me punch. see the meat. Let me see the meat. 
Boogie. I can't bruise that. Boogie, he's Come asking on. for it. Do it. Punch. Go get those gloves. We have an impromptu meat beat off happening right here at Retropalooza. This is it, Boogie. You ready? Why are you licking your ass? fingers? Because I've been eating candy all day. Also, <laughs> I'm going to put one of these in Billy's butt. <laughs> Wait, you're going to do what now? What? <laughs> Nothing. Don't worry about it. You're going to like it. Don't worry. I'm sorry. I just thought, I, thought, I, I, thought I heard something. I'm going to surprise you. It was my mistake. It's your mistake. You'll know about it when it happens. Yeah. Don't worry. Yeah. Sir. <laughs> Dude, we got boxing gloves. I told you, man. We come prepared. And then, Everything went out. I nodded them on accident. Look at that. Boogie's tired. I ruined my pants now. Do, do, do. Bow, bow. I mean, don't fucking go all out. I don't want to fucking like. <laughs> Dude, you're about to be like a pinata. Yeah, give yeah. Him like a good, give him I don't, like a good. I don't want to be the guy that gets fucking like knocked you out by Boogie. <laughs> You'll never live it down, dude. <laughs> He's going to pay for that shit. He's going to pay for that remark. <laughs> oh, I don't want to be the guy that's going to boot. Are these the ounces that you're going to Yeah, have? that's exactly what I'm fine with. That, that's it? That's soft. Yeah. 16 ounces. We, we don't want anybody to get broke. Oh, that's 16 ounces? That's nothing. That's nothing. I do this all day. I do this all day. I don't do that all day. Oh, give me one, Boogie. Oh, go ahead. That was a two. Give that was a two. How hard? Let's do a four. Give ding. me a bell. Give ding. me a bell. Ding, ding, ding. Ding, ding. Wait, hold on. I got to get a good angle of this thing. I mean, he's obviously not going hard. Your left is good. Boogie, do it. All the way. This guy's strong. Give him a tent. Okay. There you go. Woo. 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 Take this Woo. guy's freaking liver Woo. out. Woo. 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 Mm -hmm. Beat him into a piece of meat, Boogie. Ah. Kidney shot. Kidney shot. Kidney shot. Kidney shot. <laughs> Are you winded already? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was more worried about my pants falling down. Oh, I'll hold them for you. Okay, hold them. Let him hold your pants and then keep going. Honest. I think you're right if you, you went more like that way. Is your, is your right arm like Jack? Did you ever injure it? Left arm. Your left arm looks yeah. better than your right. Well, you think so? Yeah. Hands up. All right. It, so there's two ways to fight. Yeah. So if I like this. Okay, if you hit, if you use the right, you came this way, it was good. Yeah. That would have hit. That would have hit. That, no, it wouldn't have. Oh, it would. <laughs> don't make me throw an actual punch, Billy. <laughs> make me throw an actual punch. Oh, nice. Ooh. That would have got me in trouble. Oh. Dude, this <laughs> Mike. Mike, is that what he's going to do to me, Mike? Yeah, I think so. No. One. Stay back. Two. Three. Mike, four. no. <laughs> I didn't even get 10K Five, for that. Mike, I six. didn't even get 10K. You good? No. I didn't hit you, did I? Oh, no, 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 I didn't hit you. No, I, really, I didn't fucking hit you. Hit me in the face. No. I did not fucking hit him. Mike, I didn't hit him. I didn't hit me in the face, Mike. And I did my face hurt. You guys seeing this? What did you do I to him? I didn't hit him. What did you do to him? I didn't hit him. Hit me in the face. Why? <laughs> what did he do to you? Oh, he hit me in the oh, face, I saw that. I saw that. Bullshit. No, 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 no. How hard no, did he no, hit him? That was impossible. Sure. He go punch you. Fucking. Oh, there we go. I really didn't hit you, dude. Listen, okay. Boogie. <laughs> you got this, Boogie. What? I, I'm fighting a 400 pound man. <laughs> yeah. What are you doing running I laps just around me? Like I'm, I'm, and this is gonna get fucking clipped, right? But I'm basing my boxing training off of Dark Souls Three PVP, because <laughs> in Dark Souls Three, it's hard to hit somebody. But the best way to hit somebody is to get them to close the distance for you. You can do that by feigning and you know head movements, things of that nature, and disrupting timing. So that's my goal: is to disrupt timing. And get Boogie to do the work for me. Well, I don't fight. I'm not a fighter. I have, I have, I had like six weeks to prepare for this thing. Hold my fist out, let Boogie run into it. Dude, you know how much trainers cost? It'd been like three or four hundred dollars for like a week of training. I'm already two thousand dollars into this. And, and, and at the end, at all of it, right? At all of it, I think 
the um, I think the the real winning factor of the fight is going to be is going to be cardio. Uh, what did I spend 2K on? I got about seven hundred dollars wrapped up into my into my boxing gear, three fifty into a passport, probably another two fifty in parking and stuff. Four hundred forty eight dollars for an MRI. Um, I had blood work I had to do, doctor visit, eye doctor visit, um, you know, different things. Ten ten dollar fees here and there. I had to pay for I had to pay for a boxing license. Oh, there's another thing. I got to board the cats. It's gonna cost me like. Almost two hundred dollars to board the cats for five days. Well, two hundred fifty dollars for parking is parking and like luggage fees put together. Basically, airport fees. It's it's an expense that cost me to go on the trip. <laughs> uh, we're not Ubering to the airport. We got to drive like five hours to the airport for the first leg of the trip. Well, see, here's the difference, John. I have a group of people that send like local police out to my house every other every other month. To check on my animals so the last thing i want to do is them is have them find cats here on the on their own without anybody here high donation wing or is it good what do you mean dragon the boogie fight is 100 percent real and i'm done answering the question it is 100 percent real there is there is no scripting no pre-outcomes nothing if keemstar wanted to give me ten thousand dollars he could just give me ten thousand dollars i don't have to do anything for it first off you're not allowed to bet on yourself that's uh that's 100 percent illegal so is rigging a fight. You can go to jail for both of them, man. If I can just, if I can get myself to like have cardio for like six minutes, would I be willing to fight DSP? 100% I'd be willing to fight DSP. Just imagine Phil preparing for a fight. Boxing, you know, hitting the pads. You got 5,000 on me, Fatzilla. Let's go. Where you, where'd you bet at? Because people have been asking me where, where, where to place bets at. Shit, Boogie better be putting some egg weights in his glove. That's the only way he's going to have knockout power. I handle stress very well. I'm very, I, I do well in high stress situations. And I'm gonna hit the third chin and I'm hoping it's gonna be like a car wreck where the third chin hits the second chin, hits the first chin, hits the actual chin. You know, I'm gonna lose some energy in that because that's how kinetics work. But you know, he get he gets stung with a couple of them. He might go down. Have you tried appearing welterweight champion of the world? Honestly, I don't have the type of body that would rip. First off, what I would look like if I lost a bunch of weight is a big saggy bag of junk. Like just stretch marks and, and like loose skin. Like if you ever looked at a fat person that's lost a lot of weight, it's actually kind of nasty. But even then, like when I had muscle, I didn't really cut. Like I, I, I looked like I looked like a, like I just hardened. That's it. I didn't cut. I was more like my, my body type is more like a Bill Goldberg than a Randy Orton. What happens if I get dropped in the first 10 seconds? I get up because if I drop in the first 10 seconds because I tripped, this ain't because Boogie ain't got power. Might have the referee tie my shoelaces or something. Uh, shifting currents. There's a huge difference between 130 pounds. Like what would it take for me to be ideal weight? I'd have to lose 270 pounds in total. No, nah, it's 2% it's 2 milk and protein. It's a sleep for dinner type of night. I'm fine drinking 2% milk. I'm literally going to have less than 400 calories today. I think I'll be think all right. I don't think it's healthy, dude. It doesn't matter if it's healthy and I got to get weight off me for the fight. Like, I've already hit a wall. Uh, band tabletop. I've already provided statements. If you weren't... Do I have countermeasures for trolls breaking into my house while I'm while I'm gone? Yeah, it's called a lock. Uh, Payety, my mine is not on pay per view. You can watch on Misfit Boxing YouTube channel on May 13th. Remember, there's a six hour difference. So when I fight, it most likely is going to be like three in the afternoon for Eastern Standard or like noon for West if you're American. Perfect. Yeah, Keem knew about my past. I mean, Keem's Keem's got his own demons to fight with. That. ここが最後の息をのむ場所だよ。ロッコさん。結局、ショートスの聖なんかじゃなかった。お、俺や貴様の生まれた星、不惑星兄弟。消えてなくなったのは結局、兄弟なくなったのは私WA5月期中3日N
Like, if I wake up tomorrow and I take a take a good piss and I weigh naked, I could probably be under 400. Uh, Mike Hawk, my calories are way less than a thousand. Here's what I've had today. I've had four nuggets from Chick-fil-A, two nuggets from Wendy's, and half a small fry. I'm six foot even. That's what I've ate today. What I ate yesterday was one protein shake, and I still have it sitting on my desk. It's like, I got half a cup of Hormel har turkey chili. Yeah, I wanted 380, but I'm, I think I'm going to dump out like 395. I think that's where I'll be at fight night, 395, hydrated and dressed. I'm take honestly, hold up. Like, I've been hitting up these shits right here. These one-a-day gummies. Take two of these in the morning. Kind of, like, make up for, like, the lack of calories I've been taking in. Taking a multivitamin. Been doing that. Been trying to get my workouts in. No, no, no. They're, they're one-a-day uh, Vita Craves men's gummies. It doesn't replace calories, but it, it gives me nutrients that I'm missing because I'm not eating. So, like, because I don't, I don't want my blood work to get messed up. I'm going through with the fight. I'm 100% going through with the fight. Like, people want to call me out and say, oh, blood this and that. <laughs> No, I'm in. I'm in the fight. It's gonna happen. I don't know yet. I've never actually fought nobody, so I have to get in the ring and see how it is when it, after after everything's all the dust settles. <clears throat> no, nah, I don't. I'm not on my redemption arc, dude. Like honestly, like um, which I, I have my I'm balding up in the middle, but I was so disappointed in the way I looked. Even though I was doing what I needed to do, I looked like a pile of junk. And I'm like, dude, I'm gonna die. You know, between that and like the support of my personal physician, the support of my beautiful wife, Kelly, the opportunity given to me to like, you know, have some positive attention go my way. Like all that put together created like the momentum to actually really physically want to get out there and better myself. No, I don't. I, I don't understand. Like John Wick question will you be what will you do when boogie starts shaking when the geordie's armor is chanting wings 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 and the arena quakes noise going to be electric when the bulldoze and pimp my goal is to go out there and be a showmanship that's the goal if i gotta bash boogie's teeth in you know mm. it's may 13th gabe you can watch it on misfits on on youtube i don't know the actual time of the fight i know we're the fourth fight in the preliminaries we're the main event of the preliminaries let me ask you guys a question since i took this boxing thing up do i look better can you tell I've dropped 30 pounds? Like, is my face thinned out at all? Like, like is there more color in me? Mm, it's hard to tell your body when you're 400 pounds, dude. Like, honestly, you look like a blob. Like, the way you tell... Honestly, the way you tell, like, when you're my size, if you're losing weight or not... Like, like you see how loose this is? Like, this used to be like this, right? But now it's, like, loose. Like, when you sit in a car, you feel like the door panel is, is further away from you. That's where you notice the inches. I plan on losing my weight. My goal weight's 250. Oh, I'm I'm way stronger than Boogie is. Faster, stronger, younger, better looking. Got a cuter dog, too. 67 inches. <clears throat> so, like, a jock strap has to come up here and then tuck under here. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. Are you asking, like, why do I wear my pants up there? I wear my pants up here because your navel is your waist, right? If you look back here... I ain't got no butt. So if I wore my pants on my hips, my pants would just fall down all the time. And I don't like my pants falling down. I like my pants to hold up. Dude, I don't I don't know Boogie can swing low enough for a body shot. Yeah, like like we were telling Keem that, but like, dude, I, the promotion is scared to death of our fight. That something's going to go wrong. Like, one of us going to have a heart attack or like something of that nature. No, I'm kind of excited, but I hate plane trips. So boring. I still have room for one sponsor, Charles. But yeah, I have I have a t-shirt sponsor. I actually have two sponsors left. I have a t-shirt sponsor. I have two patch sponsors. Um, I have a I have a cheap t-shirt sponsor for the press conference. So like if you want to put like your YouTube channel on a press conference, I got a press conference spot. But I got the ring walk and a ring walk patch and uh, two two uh, trunk patches. Press sponsor press conference May 11th. Mm, I'm thinking like 250, but you got to supply the shirt because it's such short notice. It's three rounds. Me and Boogie are very similar in size, yeah, but I'm taller than he is. Because, like, I'm taller than he is, and he's wider than I am. Because he's a little shorter. I'm not answering what day I leave for London or anything like that. People weaponize information too much. I, me and Kelly are going to film some blogs in London. I'm hoping to do a London vlog on the time when we get back. See, like, like what I feel like I need to work on right now is I need to build up some kind of strength. Like, my punches are terrible. But I'm at the point that I'm so close to the event, I don't want to actually hurt myself with a mechanical injury. Yeah, I think Boogie's bringing a plus one as well. I mean, like, I got a couple punches. I'll show you. You know, like, there's the gap. There's there's one where you close the gap. And you, you know, come in like that. That's like the double jab where you jab. And you, like the problem is with footwork with it. You know, you got to jab, jab, and then right hook. But you want to keep that foot there. So, 
Because I, I feel like Boogie's going to do this number. I'm 4 0 I was 402 just like 10 minutes ago. Oh, yeah, I got the movements. Movements on down fat. No, I didn't hit. I didn't hit my head. Problem is, I don't keep my hands up when I'm fighting. Like, I've took this very seriously. <laughs> like, like I've been, I've been trying to kill it the last three weeks, three almost four weeks now. To be fair, not eating wise, but like, I didn't do much working out the last couple days. But like, I'm trying to get back into it. I was, I was a blubbering fat mess the last couple days. I, there was a stream I did I shouldn't have done where I, all I did was fucking cry for like an, an hour and a half. <laughs> I mean, like, imagine what boogies would look like right over here. Well, my concern, John, is like, I don't have a whole lot of time to stream this this month because of, you know, other obligations and things like that. So it's like, the days I do have to stream, I need to stream. Yeah, I'll be in a better position at, at the end of the fight than I was going into it. Like, I don't know, I don't know how it's going to end if I lose the fight. I mean, I get paid the same, but like, I'm sure people make fun of me and shit. But if I do lose, I plan on losing in grace. We decided against it, uh, Beetle Jesse. Um, with how much it took us to get ready for the boxing event, we spent a lot of our extra spending money going towards this boxing event. So, like, the extra money that we're getting from the fight and, like, sponsorships and stuff, I'm actually going to do to fix my leg. And my wife is having her other carpal tunnel fixed in her arm. So, like, we're going to do some medical things. And I'm hoping to stay on Ozempic. I'm going to try to do what I need to do to stay on Ozempic to try to help lose weight. Dude, stepping in a ring is very scary. Like, even, like, when you're fighting somebody like Boogie. Like, like on paper, I have every advantage against them. But it still is scary. Because you never, like, you never know how people are going to react, right? Like, I could hit Boogie. Like, what happens if I hit Boogie with my best shot and it just feels like I punched a wall? And a motherfucker laughs at me. Like, I, yes, I feel lighter. Honestly, right now, unless my leg goes asleep, I can walk any distance you want me to walk. Well, I say this, but like four and a half, five miles is probably what I can walk right now in one go. And like three weeks ago, couldn't walk to the mailbox and back. There's drama alert. What's the secret to my weight loss? A Zempic and a very small stomach. I mean, Keem's the man to ask if you want questions about the fight, like the fight times and stuff like that, or how many people are going to be in the building for the preliminaries. No, I mean, this, this has been my jam lately, this deer part. I've been trying to eat as clean as humanly possible. So here's a question. Does anybody know what happened to Dark Side Phil that he took the day off? Well, Chris Archer, that's more about... There's a bunch of different... Um, <clears throat> there's a bunch of different like factors that go into like your lower back pain. Like You could have herniated disc. You could have weak back muscles. Um... Protein is your best friend if you want to build your back muscles up. Walk until your back hurts and eat peanut butter or chili or like drink a protein shake. Do it again the next day. Walk till your back hurts. Come home. Drink protein. See you, Stephanie. Like, that's how you build back muscles up. Yeah, I don't like when people fuck with DSP. And it's like, let leave the man alone. Like, honestly. Like, DSP is not the end of the world. And for my opinion, the arena is sold out. Because, like, I know on the back end of the side, as a fighter, we get, like, three... We get four tickets, like us plus three others, and like they're having trouble getting me my four tickets. What's up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? Boogie2988 coming to you all again through the power of the internet. I'm walking through my hotel, and it's starting to get pretty late here in London time, but I wanted to vlog a little bit before the fight tomorrow. Fight is. In the morning, 9 a.m. Central Time, free on YouTube. I got a lot of stuff I want to say about it, and I also want to show you some vlog clips that I filmed while I was here. We'll save those for the end, but let's go find somewhere to talk. I think we're gonna go out in the balcony and talk, but listen to this song. Boogie. <laughs> what are the chances? Boogie, woogie, woogie. Yeah, anyway, that's fucking cool. Okay, maybe it's too cold and too windy to film out here, but I did want to show you. Wembley Park. Wembley Arena is right over that way. Wembley Stadium is right over that way. That's where we're filming. That's where we're fighting. I'm in freaking London, people. Holy crap. Nice place to record about an hour before I'm going to go to bed. 
so I get plenty of rest. Uh, London's great. The people are great. It's very multicultural, which I think is cool. It's a very old city, but I think I like it. I look forward to coming back. I really do. I hope I can get to come back without having to either get my face broken in or break in somebody else's face. Uh, but I know what you're tuning in for. Let's talk about the fight. I get in on Wednesday, 20 hours with the traveling and flying and everything else. I watched The Whale on the plane. I watched the Weird Al movie. And then I got here and I started running ragged. I had to get my boxing shorts tailored. I had to do another MRI. I had to spend more money and go more places. I did the True Geordie podcast, which was a pleasure. Um, and I've eaten some good food. And I should show you some of that because I know you want to see it. Hi, <laughs> Here's downtown. All right, this is what I got. We're having sushi. Look at this actual food, actual bread. Look where I am. Oh boy. After talking to Brian at True Jordy's podcast, you know, I got nervous for the first time. And I'm not nervous about the crowd. You know, that arena holds like 10,000 people in it. I don't even know if we'll fill it up, who knows. A few million people watching on YouTube. I'm a born entertainer, I ain't worried about that. But what I am worried about tomorrow is like getting hurt, but that's not even the worst thing I'm worried about. I'm worried about having to hurt another person. I've never done it. I've never hit another person. I've barely even screamed at other people. So to get into the ring with the intention of breaking a dude's neck, like, it's different, but I think I'm up for the challenge. I think I put this challenge in front of myself so that I can learn to take control of my power. I've let people push me around my whole life. I've let people walk all over me and look where it got me. Not a great place. And I've never been able to strike the balance between getting my ass kicked and pushing back a little bit. I never really knew how to defend myself or push back a little bit or just take better care of myself. And I want to do that. I want to learn how to do that tomorrow. I want to, I want to feel my power for the first time as an adult, a power that I never felt. I'm excited to do it. And tomorrow's the day. I mean, everyone is telling me that it's going to hurt and it's going to suck. And there's a chance I'm going to get hurt. And I'll definitely get some black eyes and a busted lip, maybe a broken nose. Um, Cause we're two 400 pound men without much skill, just clobbering each other. So that's scary, but my goal is to just get some hits in, go off Francis style on them, throw as many hits as I can, look good doing it if I can, and make it to the end. I just wanna make it to the end of the three rounds. Three two minute rounds or 90 second rounds or one minute rounds that keep changing and I don't know, I don't know, man. Instead of laying on my ass and playing Legend of Zelda all weekend, I'm doing this. One sounds more fun, one sounds way better though. So, uh, I will say one more thing. When we did the official weigh-in, when we did the press conference, people treated it like a joke. And I get it, it's entertaining. You know, gladiators in the ring and all that. But to me and Jordan, this ain't a joke. This is our lives, we're, we're people, we're human beings. People forget that. We might be fat human beings, but we are human beings. and. And we're having very human experiences and we're trying to get healthier and stronger and get better. And I know people still have to clown on us and that's part of it, but not all of you are doing that. A lot of you have our backs. A lot of you are supporting us. A lot of you are buying the t-shirts and, and doing everything you can to make sure that we are ready to kick ass tomorrow and change our lives for the better. And I hope this does that. And for those of you who are supporting us, God bless you. Thank you. Even if you're supporting Jordy over me, I get it. I understand. I respect it. God bless you guys for doing it. I mean, at the end of the day, win or lose, somebody gets hurt or not, it doesn't matter because are you not entertained? It's entertaining, if nothing else. So go out there and give them a show, even, even if it's a freak show. 
just glad to be part of it. For those of you who want to go the extra mile in supporting me or even Jordy, um, there are t-shirts up in my t-shirt shop and that link is always down below. Buy a t-shirt. Uh, Metas PCs is sponsoring this fight for me. So if you're looking to buy a brand new PC, knock out your old PC and get a champion machine at Meta PCs. Use the referral link down below and use code Boogie. Um, but even though all you do to support is to watch the fight for free tomorrow on YouTube, 9 Central, or you watch this vlog, or you, you just put a prayer in for me tonight, I appreciate you guys. So I'm gonna go get some rest. As always, thanks for watching. I love you very much, and I will speak with you again soon. And I'm joined by Wings of Boogie. We say, guys, you guys all right? I'm doing all right, man. I'm excited. Yeah, you, you, how you feeling, my friend? Oh, I'm, I'm ready to knock somebody out. Okay, hopefully you don't knock me out. Now, we got three big heavyweights in the building, yeah? Me included. Um, now, what I want to know, how do I get to this level of greatness? Oh, shit. Milkshakes, uh, plenty of sleep. Never walk. You got an Uber everywhere. I am a Liverpool fan. You never walk alone. How, how, how do I get to this level of greatness, my friend? Here's what you do. You, you start a World of Warcraft account, and you never log off. That's what I did. Uh, you know what? I started, but I logged off. Oh, that's the problem. That's why I made the mistake. <laughs> Don't worry. Am I still here? Don't make me back out my tea. Okay, so how's your training been going for this fight, man? Oh, it's been going wonderful. I've dropped 36 pounds. Uh, my endurance is going through the roof. Like Woo! I took this shit serious. Yeah. Well, yeah. how, how have you been training? How have you been training? Uh, I've been doing 50 minutes on the heavy bag. I did uh, 20 reps of farmer's walks, and I walked 45 minutes with my beautiful wife over here. Anti wife in the back. She try to hide, but don't worry, she's there. She's there. Yeah. What about you? How's your training, man? How's the camp going? I'll be honest with you, man. It, it, it's been slow training, but I got into the swimming pool at first. Really got some moving going. Okay. Where it's nice being lightless for a uh, weightless for a change. Yes. And then finally started hitting the bag, and that's been my passion. I just set it right next to my TV, and every single time I walk past it, I put on the gloves and work it out and. Try, try to get a little stronger, trying to get a little more fit. I don't know that I'm fight ready, but I think I'm going to put on a good show. I love the truth that is coming out of this building. Can we get any final words between you guys before we go off? Oh, he gets to be weightless again in the next hour. Woo! Oh, you're going to send me floating, huh? <laughs> you, you better not be wearing that shirt in the ring, because I'll tell you something, oh, I'm going to square off on it every time. Oh. All right, all right, myself, Big Z, blessings, you're done now. Bye, guys, see you guys later, yeah? <laughs> Let's talk about Bookie. I mean, these guys are big. You're talking nearly 400 pounds. We've got to applaud them. I know some people online like to, you know, talk rubbish about them. Yeah. Applaud them for getting in the ring and doing the business. Yeah. You know, I think that's the biggest win for both of them. The fact that they're showing up here. Last year, one of them wasn't even able to get up off of his couch without having, you know, facing some injuries. Yeah. And now they're here. They're putting the gloves on. They're in front of all these fans and putting on a show. They both deserve a round of applause. One thing I'm happy about, Slim, and I am happy about this, it's not three minute rounds. It ain't two minute rounds either. It's a minute. As it's a minute. It's a minute. That, it should be a minute. That, that, that's, still, that's still a little too long though. 400 pounds. <laughs> it should be 30 seconds. It should be 30 second rounds. 30 second rounds? 30 second rounds. It's no longer than a minute. They should eat cheeseburgers in the corner when they when, <laughs> when they in the corner. Oh, chill. See, at the no. round, I think that'd be funny. See, see, see I'm, I'm trying to be nice yeah. and great. You know, you two get away. Oh. You two get away. <laughs> Fousey, Fousey. <laughs> Who do you think wins, Fousey? Who's winning? You know what? I think Wings gets this one. Yeah. I think Wings gets this one. Just looking at their training footage, you know, he did have some stiff, he had had some jabs, yeah. he had some crosses, but I think the thing that's gonna happen to Boogie, and this isn't to be mean, his arms are a little short. It's not to be mean. I promise you it's not to be mean. I just think he's, he might have a little trouble. You know, trouble. Boozy go away as well. Oh. Boozy go away. You know what we're going to do? we got a special national anthem. Gideon is about to sing the American national anthem. I don't know how this is going to play out, but we're going to throw it downstairs to Gideon to sing the national anthem and welcome the fighters in. Ladies and gentlemen, now it's time for the Happy Punch main event of the evening! Scheduled for three one-minute rounds in the heavyweight division. And now, making his way to the ring, Boogie tonight! Uh-oh. And now, ladies and gentlemen, his opponent making his way to the ring. Wings of Redemption! Lit up like a fourth, I'm a happy drunk. Come to pop a big mama, cause your daddy's drunk. I'm gonna pop, pop it up like a good 
get blessed. Make you holler for a dollar, that's the way I've been. Gold rings and strings and strings, letters on the body. Them's all the strings that I ain't gon' buy you. It's like one of the freaky things. Hit it once, maybe every couple weeks. I got no love, I got no riches. I don't roll bows and I don't got switches. Got no game, I can't reward ya. history here live I at the can't pre. believe this is happening I like I'm pinching myself over here <laughs> like you pulled it off oh my gosh well ladies and gentlemen this bout scheduled for three one minute rounds in the heavyweight division this bout is also standing a count will be in effect this bout is sanctioned by the professional boxing association Timekeeper at the bell, Peter McCann. And the third man in the ring in charge of the action, referee Jack Goodwin. And the three judges scoring ringside, Seamus Dunn, Ian John Lewis, and Gareth Morris. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner. He is wearing the green with gold trim. His official weight of 391.6 pounds. And tonight, he is making his crossover boxing debut. Hailing for Fredoville, Arkansas, the living mean Boogie to Wow. He does. And his opponent across the ring fighting out of the red corner. He is wearing the red and black. His official weight of 404.2 pounds. And tonight he is also making his crossover boxing debut. Hailing from Conway, South Carolina. Jordan Jordan, the legendary gamer known as Wings. Oh! <laughs> Ooh, here well, we go. Here we go. We got Paul Bamba in the corner of Remember Wings. Remember my structures in the training rooms. Keep your heads up. Chase them all look alike. And don't hold. You understand me? Shake hands for Boogie. Good luck. Get back to your corners. Wait for the bell. Three one-minute rounds. Oh, I like how Boogie took advantage uh, while this was all happening, sitting down in the corner, reserving that gas that tank. Very smart. And he's gonna need some smarts. Second round. First round. Guys, Wings looks locked in over there. He's ready to go. Here. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. goodness. Right off the bat, Wings is. Wings connected with the Wings. Immediate pressure by Wings. And Boogie taking Wings. a step back. Oh my gosh. He is putting a and clinic. Wings. These boys have some heavy hands. Oh, oh no! Oh, my God. 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 Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And ladies and gentlemen, this is and ladies and gentlemen, this is how they arrived on those uh, mark cards. As you can see, pulling up his uh, pants there. They were playing bumper cars. Who won the race? I think Boogie Bo did. Boogie won that one at least. Uh, well, we've got to get the shorts right. You know, we've heard the term saved by the bell, but Boogie has been saved by the shorts. The shorts kept falling. That's this it, could have it. been a strategy that's by Boogie, imagine. He's lost some weight probably uh, training for this fight. It looks like they're taping him up, taping those shorts. Trying to avoid this London crowd from seeing a full moon. Yes, I think, I think we're all <laughs> grateful for that. Seeing a full moon on a boogie night. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and it looks like they're taping him up here. Taping his oh, pants this is awesome. to him. This is what I'd like to see. They should not be coming off after that. No. And you know what? This is, take note, all boxers, all crossover boxers, you should be using this to reserve your gas tank and yep. replenish your energy in future fights. Very smart. Oh my god, this is awesome.
Here we go. Wings just patiently waiting. Oh, oh, oh my yeah. gosh! Boogie and they're going for it. And they're going for it. Oh, I'm going to turn around. I'm got to not turn around with the rest. Boogie's got to get one in. And there we go. We made it to the he, second. He lasted around, right? Yep. That's got to be a victory in itself right there. I mean, they've got to be very proud of themselves. They've, you know, to, to, to be in the ring in this on this kind of stage after all they've been through. How you, you have to stand up and applaud the fact that we are in round two. I know it's only 60 second rounds, but as you know, in boxing, those rounds are last forever. It's like an eternity, and especially with these guys, right? So the fact that we're in round two is just shocking. Well, I can tell you that 60 seconds was a lot longer for Boogie than it was for Wings. That's for damn sure. Oh, nice little side up and cut there. The question is, how control. much more can he take? How yeah. much more of the pressure? He's been taking so many shots that round. Will he be able to come into this round and actually land some punches and do some damage back to wings? We're yes. about to find out. Boogie's just got to go for it. He's got to get that Hail Mary punch in. Boogie's got to face him. There we go. He's just walking into the punches there. At least he's throwing a couple. Standing eight. There we go. That's the right call there. Absolutely. the right call from the ref. Boogie protesting a little bit, but I think it was the right call, and yeah. respect to these big men for getting in there. I mean, Absolutely. that's what this is all about, entertainment, and Keem, you've outdone yourself with this main event. Well, it's, it's, it's about doing the impossible, and that's what this fight was from the very beginning, to the training, the, the diet, everything was impossible and it actually took place, it actually happened. You know, Boogie definitely had a disadvantage physically coming into this match. He's gotta be proud of himself for making it through that round. He tanked so much, you know, he could have gone down right away to one of those punches, but he stood there, he took it, and he stood strong. And you know, he lasted around, and that's good. Yeah, Wings had full control from the very beginning, and it looked like Boogie was trying to set up maybe a, def uh, a defense counter, and it just never came because of the onslaught of Wings just keep going oh and gosh. going. Do you see that? Jeez. Man, if this doesn't inspire you, I don't know what does. You know, imagine getting ready. And like every little move, you're carrying around 400 pounds with you. I, I hope Boogie's not too upset because he really made a great effort to get here and do this. And that's the sad part about boxing. There's usually one winner and one loser. Ladies and gentlemen, the official time, 33 seconds of round number two. Referee Sheamus Dunn stops the contest, and therefore your winner, Wings of Redemption. And so, the thumb man who cheated his diet outside Good Springs cheated his diet once again. After the Battle of London, many thought it was the push Richard needed to finally change once and for all. At first, tourists arrived in masses, showing support. Eventually, some got bored. Others left when Richard's true nature inevitably started to show once more. In the new world of Trailer 101, team bullying continued. Pepsi was spilled, and many laughed and enjoyed, just as they had in the old world. Because Wings, Wings never changes. I wonder why my views are falling so badly. I just got done with a major fight, and I was on ESPN and like every fighting network in the thing, and I'm pulling less viewers than I did before I got the boxing match. Nobody cares about me. He killed a couple cats. I killed, I mean, first off, I killed one. 
Like if they don't, if they're not somebody that regularly is like a member or donates, and they just want to sit here and talk shit, just throw them out. I'm I'm done with the whole catering to people that want to just sit here. I'm just fed up with it. Like I've been I've been trying to be nice and let people troll and do their shit right there, but it's like yeah, I'm not making any more money than I used to because sitting here being nice, it doesn't work. Like what I do isn't entertaining. I I don't have enough people to follow me and like. I'm bad at what I do. Well, it's just like, how, how are you supposed to win when like half your team is just spawn peeking every round? Like, like again, like our team was doing nothing to help. Like, do, do you know what our team did the whole time? Because I certainly don't. Blackout, dude, thank you for the $100, man. Good job. Honestly, Blackout, that's a huge donation. But it's not the goal for this stream. Like, to be where I need to be, I need to make, like, $900 this stream. Dude, if I if I fired this up with randoms, it's gonna be the same shit, dude. It's gonna be like, as soon as we're losing, I'm gonna get team killed. And then we're gonna lose the match. And then it's gonna be people asking, like, you know, random troll questions. We're not playing Rainbow Six. Matter of fact, mods, anybody that says Rainbow Six without it being a donation, just ban them in advance. It's not gonna happen. I'll just turn the stream off before we do that. I'm tired of going down the same well. Yeah, dude, they still do that. I would I would end the stream for $200. If I don't make donations, I just cut the stream off. That's where I'm at. Overtime, and like, I, I'm over here. I took this boxing fight to help build my channel up and shit like that, and it's just not working. Like, th this viewer turnout has got me like, can somebody send me a link so I can like, send it on Twitch? Cause like, this viewer turnout's kind of, kind of bad. I was hoping if I put the $20 in, I'd get more viewers, but you know, it didn't happen. We got 221 viewers. It's a, it's basically another failed stream. It is what it is. I'm just playing to play at this point. To for it to be a success, this stream has to hit 350, 400 viewers. It's not going to do that. I've been streaming full time since 2015. That means I've been doing this for eight years now. I should have more than 250 viewers. I should be pulling a thousand every day, and I shouldn't. I shouldn't even have to worry about money. At this point, eight years into a streaming career, but I'm treading water, and that's bad. Like, this is going to be the best stream Diablo 4 is ever going to give me, for the most part. And it's already starting out lackluster. I don't pull two, I don't pull 2,000 viewers. I, I'd be pulling more viewers than I do now if I was on Twitch, but, you know, got banned. Live sun fair in the world's mean. Uh, T, could you just ban people talking about viewers? People that are talking about viewers are just here to try to derail the stream. Yeah, no way should I be mad about losing half my income. Yo, UAV. I, I don't care about the people messaging Yo. you, dude. What are they? So... No, I didn't make the thumbnail myself. I pulled it off Google. I pulled that shit off Google. I put Rainbow Six thumbnails and grabbed one. I haven't made no money this month, so like I pretty much have to stream if it regards to feel good or not. That dude that said he donate sixty bucks if I won that first game. Dog, I don't make enough money to hire an assistant. Dog, I'm over here streaming for like a hundred bucks a day. Yeah, hire somebody to edit your videos. Hire an assistant. Dog, I ain't got that kind of scratch. Honestly, buying new games is counterproductive for me. I haven't reached the donation goal. We're about $80 off. We'd be $20 off if that man kept his word. My ban was not justified though. Like literally somebody came into my private game and started talking shit about me and then clipped me defending myself. <clears throat> and I get banned for it. That that's what it was, yeah. I didn't even say anything really that bad. Twings back-to-back -back streams? Yeah. Yeah, I'm, try I'm trying to make this scratch, dog. Yeah, if somebody wanted to donate some money, I'll get on the scale. Yeah, it had to be like $50, though, because, like, humiliation has a ha has a surcharge. Uh, zero. The obligation is low zero. I died last night. My savings account isn't that straight. Can you hook me up? For about an hour and a half into the stream, we our donations at $20. We're still at 110 off our goal. If, you lo if you're liking the stream and enjoying yourself, hit the like button. If, if you want to, you can support the stream by donating at least a dollar. Um, Austin, I don't accept anything less more than a dollar because a dollar is like 60 cents. Anything less than that's pointless. I mean, we haven't even got one player in 40 minutes at this point. Another day in paradise. Forty-three dollars left for the scale. Now that's a fifty dollars straight out. Like we, we ain't we ain't put passing the hat around for the scale. Somebody got to somebody got to scrape the bottom of their wallet. And hit your boy up. <laughs> None of that shit you got message actually is real. It's just people trolling. How's the air in South Carolina? You act like I'm a fat ass goes outside, Vintage. Hey, I'm too fat for either one. Nah, aesthetic. I haven't been keeping up. My 
last two weeks I've been pretty much sitting around being a fatty. You get the chicken tendies with the fries with extra seasoning, and then you get your, fa your favorite dipping sauce. What's your uh, favorite dipping sauce, Link? Oh, it depends on the day. My, uh, my normal go-to is Tongue Torch, but like I like the hot mustard as well. And I'm living proof that if you don't sweat, you still smell like shit. Like I could sit here in in, in in air conditioning and my underarms will stink. Like that was the big thing with Wendy's Chili. That's why like I don't I don't I don't like washing dishes. So like I, I drank it all the time. Dude, I rarely blame people on seed. Yeah, I was going to go in because you said it was clear. Then I got started getting shot at, and then he threw the C4 after for me. Dude, I'm not asking for help. There's nothing anybody can right. about. But I'm you, saying, what I'm saying is you should have, you should at least told us so we knew it was for before. Uh, let's not try to blame people. People make mistakes. We didn't get the hatch first round. Second round we didn't have bandit. Last round we didn't have a zombie, so I couldn't even bandit trick. Like we knew they were going to go for the kitchen hatch, and then we had nobody roam kitchen. Like these guys are champions. They're droning out. They're clearing. It was cheese. He was up in the very top with all the castles. Yeah, and we never earn a Thatcher. Yeah, but Flat Thatcher would have been a better pick than Flores there. Thatcher guarantees us to get through mutes. Like we got stopped by mutes. Yeah, like you can get the fucking wall open, not expose ourselves. Right, Dude, what are you talking about? Like I literally droned in every time on attack. And like I called out, the hatch got opened. I mean, doing callouts just to do callouts is, is just taking up airspace. Like you're only supposed to call out shit that's pertinent. Yeah. Cheese, cheese, through through the first game. Oh, he's in! He's fucking in! You got Ying's in the sight, dude. There should have been more than just me. I was sitting there backing Clash up. Oh my lord! Why is the team breaking up every game? Uh, the team isn't talking. I literally have everything set up for the team to talk. They're just not talking. Look at, they got three people lining up here to run out. Yup. Again. Just mute them. I lost. Dude, I lost because my team is not actually trying. These guys don't believe in putting walls up at all. What's your number one advice for a new rainbow player? Blame your teammates. That's my number one piece of advice. Blame your team. That's what we're messing up. Like, we weren't getting that piano clear and we're just letting them have it. Yeah. You shouldn't push the same direction as me, dog. You should have stayed on the walls no, and you would have seen the cross. Yeah, but if you stayed where you were at, you would have seen through the walls, you would have seen him cross into the hall. Microwave, that's not blaming the team, man. We're still down out. We need more, better call out. Oh my god, Mozzie's in fucking office. He's in, he's in, he's in, he's in sight, come on. He's in sight, he's in sight, next to Memorial. I went three and five. <clears throat> I play at the highest end of the game. My opponents are not your opponents. You put me against your opponents, I'm eleven I'm eleven kills deep every round. Our issue was what we weren't we weren't organized on the push. That was our issue. How <laughs> people make fun of my loss. Like my thing with Rainbow Match is as long as I do everything I possibly can do to win and I feel like I played well I'm content. Like I went three and five that round, but like I feel like I did everything I could do to try to help get the team a win. Alright. You don't gotta beat people outside. It's not backseating when I'm when I'm telling people. I'm, I'm letting them know like, yo, you have health advantage. I mean, it's, you got just two v two, and one guy's one shot. <clears throat> At that point, you let them push into the site. And, like you don't like hold stairs or things like that. I wish people told me how to play when I was new. I begged people to tell me how to play when I sucked ass at this game. Dude, seriously? <sighs> Grab me, Dill. Shot me through the floor. These guys are cheating. These guys are fucking cheating. Ban on magnetic, please. There's always a point trying to find it. You basically give your position away every time. Yeah, but I thought it was. As soon as I started looking for Like, if I knew there was a drone, I would have told you never even go for me. I was dead. I wouldn't even. If I knew there was a drone, I wouldn't even try to do bandit trick. Mm. Nice information that can't be withheld. We've lost this shit. Anybody else in the chat want to play? We need more players. Because like half our team is just like being silent and not doing anything. Uh, PNF. Because $10,000 doesn't mean you can't stream. Because if I don't make my normal money, like I'm missing out on, you know, five to $8,000 in the same span of time. You know, it is what it is. It's like people, people still throw around that I'm a racist. Like... My boxing coach is Latin. But as soon as you want to put your hands on me or you put your body fluids on me, it's going down. If I can't physically beat you up, I'm going to kick you square in the junk and then beat you up. You go get the jab, the hook, and then the and then the other hook. 
I'll throw it down. I got this dumb thing about me that I'm not afraid of anybody on this planet. How much money would Kick have to pay me to stream over there? It'd have to be life changing money. So I respond, I'm not doubting your skills. But a female isn't changing the battery of, say, a 2014 Silverado. I'm just trying to give level-headed advice here. I ain't trying to get, I ain't trying to get hooked Yo, up. You had the chance, would you? No. I mean, I did have the chance. I turned it down. <laughs> I was offered to, uh, I was offered like five grand, and I'd, I'd get to pick from any girl in their stable. Damn. You turn that down. Any of their stable? <laughs> How many were there? <laughs> oh, there was like 32 of them or something like that. Damn, we should have had all 32 of them then. <laughs> like I've said it before, like my donation goal leaves me with about $91. You factor in eight hours, it's about 10 bucks an hour. Yo, you that UAV, bro. Yeah, you get messaged. It's not true. How do you know it's it's because they've been doing it for six and a half years. I can give you the same allegations when it's not true. See, would you ever wake up from your king size bed with Pepsi sweating armpits, ruining your triple X search, and look at the 55 inch mirror and go, dude, what are you talking about? Like, I literally droned in every time on attack and like I called out the hatch got opened I mean doing call outs just to do call outs is, is just taking up airspace like you're only supposed to call it shit that's pertinent you know like I got 266 viewers here right now and there's a guy that plays Diablo 2 on softcore and, do, and doesn't talk to his chat it's got 480 day in the man you can stop watching like honestly I have a video that I've started filming I would say that feels more of a loyal cow than I am, and I'm most definitely a loyal cow. YouTube takes 30%, Uncle Sam takes 28.8%. Uh, eyes, no. The question to, if I'm gonna play X game is no. Where are the gloves? I took the gloves off and I don't know where the fuck they went to. You know what was funny about Yokozuna? Is he was Samoan. <laughs> well, Yeep God, there's nothing else to play. I was a higher level. Ubisoft stole my account. Every every time I've had a troll come in here, they've always been terrible. <sighs> All right, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna shut the stream off, guys. Who do I want to box next? Uh, Tyson Fury. I need to set Kelly's OnlyFans up. I could totally get people to buy Kelly's OnlyFans. Get her some get her like some bunny ears, and have her cross her eyes and shit. Take some fucking photos, tear that shit out right. I could probably beat Tyson Fury if he was in a wheelchair and couldn't get out of it. Let's see if homie is coming through, because he said he'd donate 60 if I, if I won the match. Match is won. Uh, kudos gaming. Who gives a shit, dude? I just banned him 672. I'm tired of dealing with him. Here's the thing, to get Diablo 4 tonight, it's gonna cost 90 bucks. Because I think you have to get the deluxe edition. So standard edition, you get cross game items, com comparison of faith mount armor, light bearer. Uh, you get early yeah. You gotta you gotta drop an extra twenty dollars to get the early access, and you get the seasonal battle pass. And then the big one. You get 20 tier skips, an emote, early access. Yeah, it's a, you might as well say it's a hundred bucks. <laughs> like this is a little over a hundred bucks after taxes and everything. Like, let me reiterate this. Ban anybody with a negative comment. If they go, I don't like the way your hair looks, ban them. 
after this match I'll show you I'm gonna go back and ban everybody I want you to look at the comments I banned and I want you to mimic that any any word on live PK three rounds in a row no I doubt I doubt PK is gonna happen man highly doubt it's gonna happen uh, go ahead and ban dead rabbit please <laughs> Uh, Randy left handy um, because I helped build up the show and they kicked me off and made all the money and don't even want to kick me any money back for helping them make all that money. You sit around and watch somebody make $100,000 a year off something you helped build and you get $0 of it while I'm over here begging for $20 in donations. Insertion in 10 seconds. You can see why I'm not eager to go to a guest. Your mission is to locate and defuse a bomb. I think there's a get as opposed to the mission player. Alright. At this point I'm banning the word boxing. Let me go do that. I'm sleepy as hell, but I gotta continue to stream. I need to make, realistically, I need to make another $130 before I go to bed. Uh, so here's what I need you guys. Like, I need you guys to start hitting the like button. Like, the trolls are starting to take over again. They're, they're outnumbering your likes two to one. It used to be like four to one. So it's gotten better. It got to the point where like we were having like 60 or 70% likes. Um, what ends up happening is like the trolls have a Discord set up. So like every time I go live, there are bots in there that come in and automatically dislike and leave the stream. So you got to compete against that. I don't want to talk about the boxing because the boxing's behind me at this point. Like, look at this. Look at it this way. I'm looking at my numbers right now. I got 88 subs in the last 30 days. Like, my last week, I got 10, 3, negative 7, negative 7, negative 20, negative 11. Like, at this point, more people are leaving the channel than they're coming into the channel. Well, lying figure, the numbers have to matter to me. Uh, let, me let me just fix it instead of banning people. Uh, I gotta figure out how to do this. There we go. Twitch and Ash, hey, what would it take to get you back in the ring? I'm probably not. Twitch and Ash, I'm probably, probably not. Because it doesn't give me no long-term success. Like I'm looking for something to, to transition into, and I'm not. I'm I'm 37. I'm 400. I'm morbidly obese. I'm. I'm not going to be a, a a person that fights all the time. I'd be better off getting something that works behind the scenes. I thought I just banned that word. Oh, I just banned the term boxing. Mods, can you? From we're gonna start cracking down on the trolling again. Like Midnight Captain needs to be banned. Yeah, I should ban that word. Mm. All right, mods. Don't want to talk about boxing. Ti do 10-minute timeouts when you see people t trying to get around the term boxing and things like that, please. Let's talk about something else. Mm. No, I've been up the whole time. I don't own any guns, J-Lord. I got rid of guns. How long ago was that? I got rid of my guns in 2018, so I've having owned guns for five years now. Giant exercise. First off, I want to say great job on showing up and getting in the ring after you went from 1K viewers a day after stream to back to your normal numbers. People want to see a new you. It's not going to happen, man. I'm always going to be a fat person. 
and I, I thank you for the fifty dollar donation. But like, I'm always going to be a fat person. I'm not going to be a person that does more than everything. It's like people people went back and said like, "What do you what?" Like people feel like I squandered the hype. The, the, the hype was always going to be squandered because one, I'm pretty much done with the YouTube part of my life. Like I don't want to make YouTube videos. Like, cause like here's what happens when I make a YouTube video. It's gonna get dislike bombed. There's gonna be people in the comment section that just hate. Like it's, just, it's ridiculous. Like, let's go look at the comments on my videos. If he did this every day, he'd lose weight. Elbows at the impact. Don't push your punches. Like the people are like giving me tips on on the boxing thing. He really ruined all the positivity he went through with the boxing match. There's never a positive comment. I just don't even fucking read them half the time now. You know, it breaks my heart about wings. Every time he gets some kind of vindication, change in public perception, he actually seems to be in trajectory of gaining fans back. For example, the fight, everyone doubted he would show up. He throws it all away to be back to his man-child self. Uh, weird, I dipped right in for the streak ended. Wings, imagine running a business that you'll never tell anyone when the business is open and you show up at the business whenever. People always trying to give me fucking advice. Chicken Wings of Redemption. Box again, pimp. Here's Epic Yarn. Say he's proud of me. Thank you, Epic. That was the first good comment. And then the next comments, Epic Yarn. Anything that's not one of my mods. You know the character menu, right? Change the tier and delete the character. You can skip the campaign on new characters. After all the hype from the big box match, King couldn't, we could, Wings couldn't redeem himself. You see why I'm getting tired of this, right? Every every time I see it, it's just somebody talking about this shit. I don't want to talk about it. Like, I... I'm not going to change. It's not going to happen. Because I don't want to exercise. I, I, like, I don't want to center my channel around exercising. I don't. I like being fucking fat. I like eating. I like eating. I like sleeping. By the way, I need I need likes. We got 279 people in here. I need at least 150 likes. Hit them like buttons, boys. I can't afford to end streaming. I've had such shit fucking streams this whole month. Like I'm so far behind. It's it is what it is. My viewers already dropped. I, actually, I regret ever doing the fight. My viewers are down. My subs are down. My interaction's down. Everything is down across the board since before the fight. All of it. I don't want to collab with people. Like what? What's what's the point of collab? I understand you you get people to to know you might get a new viewer here and there. I. Uh, yeah, it gave me twelve k, but like you'd lose, like I might lose more money in that in the end, in the long run. You got to piss for my actually sad, bro. I was rooting for you, but you too focused on the negativity. It, how are you not supposed to be focused on the negativity? How you how you how, how are you not supposed to be focused on the negativity? No, the lights aren't disabled; they're just hidden. Like, look at it this way: I streamed for almost four hours earlier. Three hours and 38 minutes. I made like 70 bucks. I've made $70 in 14 minutes doing this. I try to not do this. But this is what people want to be. This is what people donate for. This is where the money's at. No, that's not true at all. I interacted more with Diablo than I did with Rainbow. And that's because Rainbow takes a lot more concentration to deal with. But Rainbow, I get higher numbers and more higher viewers. Like anytime I do anything that isn't Rainbow or Call of Duty or like people want reaction streams, it's just the same shit. No, I'm just ill right now because like, like I want to go to sleep, but I know I can't. It's just me being a big baby. Uh, ban pingling, please.
I don't like doing this, man. I don't. But I don't know where to go for. I don't know where to go forward with streaming. Like my numbers have been down all week, all month actually. Like, look at my analytics here. Bring it for June. Like I'm, I'm down thirty three percent on views. I'm down five percent on watch time. One hundred and four percent on subscribers. I've actually lost eighty one subscribers in the month of June. Um, and my money is down. 43%. So anybody talking about people doing nine to fives, just ban them. Vintage. Maybe you don't focus, maybe don't focus on the exercise, but I do think you should start posting some kind of bits on YouTube right now. Search wings on YouTube. It's all trolls because you don't have your own vids. I don't feel like doing videos, man. Like, honestly, I might never do videos again. I, I just I just explained to you, like, you got to feel appreciated to do videos. Like, even when I did, I went on my way to make a video. I made the Bucky's video. It got 30,000 views and got demonetized. Half the comments were negative. All right, let me show you mods how to ban. Mechless is hiring. Hide him from the hide him from the channel. Let's see. Maybe you'll get lots of views and start once the Musk same video you mentioned. I'm banning Reed for his comments earlier before. Um, I'll donate a dollar for each episode of Berserk 1997 you watch. I'm not watching that shit. Let's see what else here. Pepe Stein, he's gone. No. Here's the thing. Like my wife wants a car to drive so she don't have to put like a ton of miles on her car. So we're looking for something cheap. And the idea was like maybe I could get like a thousand dollar car. And I found like this yellow Mustang. And um I can just show it now because they I don't I'm not getting it at this point. Um and I was I was trying to my hardest to buy it because the ad stated that it was a 2005 Mustang at 181,000 miles on it. They wanted they wanted $1,000 for it. It was a steal. That's what it was. And I was trying my hardest to get it. That was the Mustang. But, like, she sold it to somebody else. Never even met, messaged me. It doesn't matter if it's a scam. No, it wasn't a scam. I could, tell, I could, I could see scams away. Yeah, 2005 is almost 20. It's almost it's a 20 year old car with a V6 engine with almost 200 thousand miles. It's almost been to the moon and back. Again, not a scam. How's my taxes doing now? Shit, as always. Like I don't make. Like honestly, I should. I I need to try to make more money than I do. I did therapy all the way through high school. I had therapy. You know, like therapy's never done anything for me. Like I, I don't need a place to vent. Like how's therapy going to make me make more money? Like honestly, like, like, the, 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 you know what I want? I want to feel successful. I want to feel like people appreciate what I do and I want to feel like I'm good at something. I got none of that. And some days I have to literally beg to make it. Like right now, like I still need to make another 40 or 50 dollars to get where i actually need to be but you know the donations have pretty much stopped yeah you know, like right it's like right there like you call it e-beggar i don't appreciate the effort i put into this felix like, I want to do so much more. You be a good truck driver, not going to lie. I don't want to drive a truck. You're successful since you've been in this YouTube game for 13 years. A lot of people don't last a month. 16 years. I'm on my 16th year. Right. People people sit here and confuse, like, when I was happy with boxing, that I was happy because I was working out in the boxing. You think I want to sit there punch a fucking punching bag until my arm has, like, a sore on it? I did that shit because I because I didn't want to get embarrassed by a fifty year old man, right? 
what made me happy was I felt relevant. I felt like people appreciated me. I felt like I was entertaining again and that I that I could be entertaining again. That's what made people happy. I, I remember when I first got into YouTube, I, w I made three videos a day, not for money, because I didn't make money when I first got YouTube, but because people were interested. Why did you start making YouTube videos? Why did you get into it? Money. Money. So you, you came into this as a as a money making thing. I got laid off in October of last year. Basically, I went, did a little bit of job hunting, and I realized that the only place hiring to make any kind of decent money was Walmart. I can't do that. I had unemployment coming to me. I had about a year's worth. So um, I'm gonna try to go. I'm gonna try to get some gaming on there and try to make side money. And I was using more of it as an excuse not to do anything. And I was using more of it as an excuse not to do anything. People to ask questions, and people were invested in the content that I made. And you know, I don't got that no more. Like honestly, like like if I put out content I wanted to put out, like say, like I've I've always wanted to do another New Vegas run through, like a complete another New Vegas since I deleted my old one, and I've always felt like I needed a New Vegas playthrough on my channel. If I put a New Vegas playthrough out right now, the the comments would be like, "What do you think about the new Liquid Richard?" You know, or there'll be people trying to pretend that I'm some kind of like pedo or some shit like that, or. I'm this terrible, no good, very bad person, or, you know, people want to talk about like I'm a failure, or, like, oh, look how low the view content is, or like how lower your viewers are. That's all the, that's all it'll be. And I'll lose, and I'll lose the, and I'll, I'll read, I'll read like two pages of it. Never make it, never make it, never make the second video. And so I, why start? Like, like I, I've pointed out before, like I have a complete let's. your drone to locate a bomb the chair has to be a ten dollar donation not two fives. Oh, he did do the chair my bad no 10 no. seconds before insertion <laughs> oh god i can't get the thing to switch over